Today okay, so on Gnome like Patrol. Like you are going over to the edge of the, the ship, <laughs> flying around the city full of vampires. They're all looking up at the ship, and you begin to drop bombs on them. Bomb That's what she city. wants to do. Let's do yeah, it. That's yeah. it. Guys, thank you for watching this entire series. We loved it. We had a great time. But it is time to get out of control with No Patrol! After the Celestial War, one band of heroes rose to protect the sunken city. No Patrol. Five heroic gnomes, each with the ability to craft gnomish mech battle suits ahead of their time. They are led by the legendary master craftsman and hero of Indaria, Arky Fint, as they try to protect the Duncan City from all monsters. No Patrol. Good evening and welcome to Audio Dungeon. I'm Tony Hansen, joined by the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew. And today is Gnome Patrol, the series and season finale. It is season two, episode 12, Iron Giant. And that is it. Here we are, 24 episodes in to the Gnome Patrol story. And today we find ourselves, after the last amazing episode, Interview with a Vampire. And that one was a doozy. In this season, the very heart of gnomes everywhere was being fought for. When Dato became king, many people rallied for and against. They didn't know, it's kind of like a new president coming in, people just don't know what to think, some people don't like, some people do, and some people are just like, ah, let's see what happens. After those three initial months that took place, between season one and season two, Dato proved himself to be a diplomat. And he was fair. And people could tell that he wasn't trying to play sides or he wasn't playing favorites. He was trying to get the job done and do what was best for gnomes everywhere. The kingdom of Rhaegar, now taking in Sunken City, Raven's Claw, Southern Isles, and Rhaegar itself. Except many people couldn't get over the fact that he wasn't a gnome. Even though he was a gnome, his soul was a gnome originally when created. He 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 identifies as I was an I'm a gnome, obviously in a crystal born uh, body. But nevertheless, people couldn't come to terms with it. And now we find ourselves, as of last episode in the beginning, the Rhaegarian kingdom is split. You can consider it to be close to 50-50, and people are in Rhaegar revolting. And saying that he doesn't represent us, he is not doing a good job, he's going to get us killed. And they refer to Gnome Patrol, saying that Gnome Patrol, what do they do? You know? So for what it's worth, to the perspective of those that don't know and that, are, that live in Rhaegar, just simple gnomes living their lives, Gnome Patrol went out and did food reviews from all the different places. Right? And they got lots of food reviews, and that kind of made it worse. One food review maybe is funny. Two is like, oh. Three is like, what are you doing out there? Four is like, okay, guys. <laughs> so, and then you guys... Um, it doesn't matter. Queensland, <laughs> Queensland was going to be a thing that was going to be your feather in your cap. Nope, that feather was taken out ripped up and thrown away you guys you went back <laughs> to port you let off the queensland guards and gave a big uh, you know, queensland and and while chancellor horngar was out there saluting getting ready to bask in his glory you guys dipped <laughs> and left us guys you guys yep no well, control There's we a were whole... all together when it happened. Remember, the ship we voted. got up and left. <laughs> you guys voted. all went and left. You could have been yelling Correct. you didn't want to go, right. but the... the ship went up and left. Yes. And the, once again, the, the perspective the... of the regular yeah. oh, gnome. Yeah. That I agree with. Yes. We yes. That's ballots. what we're saying. We all agreed we would leave together we in harmony. Let me just agree to leave then. So let me just finish this. So now they were mad. Chancellor Horngar was mad. Um, Queensland was upset. And people are talking about this unprovoked attack on orcish territory when there's been like a pretty much like a truce to not do anything, but somehow the gnomes just attacked the territory. And 
It's like not so out of bounds to do that. It could have been whatever. It, it really was the fact of what is Nova Troll trying to accomplish. And then you guys went to Silver City. You did a lot of great things there. But now it's coming to light, as it did last week, that a member of Gnome Patrol attacked and killed royalty of the triad below the surface. And senior members of the Vampire's Legion at the same time in one foul swoop. It's coming to light that Daltuvin was the person who did that. And when added in with the fact that you guys ousted the triad, the triad is pretty mad when they got ousted from Silver City and you killed their royalty. It was like, I defeated you, and here's a lot of salt in that wound, and the vampires are now upset. And now, on the, to, to bring people back up to speed, on the last episode, Dado said to you, as king, we need a win here, and people are going to revolt. And the vampires are reaching out, and they want help. They want to revive the arcane shield. Will you go? You guys said yes. You went to Arcane City. You got the shield fixed. But while down there, things did not go well. Because one of you turned into a vampire. Willingly. No. <laughs> <laughs> we thought so. They thought so. <laughs> Everything's going great. David. Yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, right? <laughs> so Liam accepted vampire Rickness. And now he's, now he's a vampire. And... Dan sacrificed, Altuvin sacrificed himself, and we last left off with, we last left off with Dan's power being absorbed as the vampire was siphoning out of you, and you go unconscious from all the draining of the energy. That's the last thing you experience. Liam, you are in the, you, Arknum's tower, you're in that tower there, and the two of you, with Sparky, flew up into the air uh, pretty far, pretty fast, and that is where we ended last episode. That is your recap. And that is where we stand right now. Patreon reroll for the highest roll. You're going to need it today. All Coming right, in from Mistar. Here we go. Seven, 16. 16. 16. Yes. 16. Damn. Oh, you got 18? Uh, yeah, okay. you got 18. You got it. Any rerolls? Let's do it right now. Any Patreon rerolls? Let me give you 10 seconds. Get them all in. Patreon reroll for the all lowest right, roll. Here we go. What was the name of the vampire guy? Eight. Hex. 12. 10. Hex. 15. Yeah. <laughs> Right. What? Patreon reroll to Tony to give to a PC when he wants, when he feels the time warrants. Oh, Ooh. interesting. Douglas made that interesting. Thank you, Douglas. I'll do that. <laughs> Those food reviews were very informative, though. I agree, Thank Andrew. You, yes. They were informative. It's amazing what, you know, bad publicity can do for you. Yes. Because <laughs> <clears throat> that's pretty much what we have here. That's the situation. People think uh, one for thing real. and it's not necessarily the truth. For real. So here we go, guys. We're starting this episode, season two, episode twelve, the Iron Giant. Oh, Patreon reroll to Dan coming in from Oni. This music is the music of Solst, as you, as you've come to know it as Arcane City. But but we're gonna play it right now because that vibe is just everywhere right now. We're gonna go right now to where none of you are, and we're gonna go back in time. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are, you guys have just left, at this point in time, you have just left Rhaegar. And you're flying off to Arcane City. Right? Souls, right? Yeah, Souls. Uh, yeah. It's the same place. Yes, I know. If you were... So you guys go off to Arcane City. About an hour after you guys leave, there's commotion. Again, the revolts are happening in Rhaegar. And somebody, apparently, somewhere, somebody is making their way through the streets of Rhaegar up, and you see the crowd of people just kind of making their way. And apparently someone is causing some kind of a stir. We don't know who it is or why or what they're doing, but they're causing a stir, and they're making their way up. And some people come up to Dado. They were like... Uh, uh, sir, it's a, it's a bunch of people. Apparently, it's representatives from uh, the Wienerton family and also from the Mott family, and they have a representative representing them. You know that they're trying to put into power, and they say that you're not the, the legitimate uh, king, and you shouldn't be king. And, and uh, apparently, the people are getting behind them. This is getting to be a serious thing. Well, that's unfortunate. There is nothing we can do. Let them come. 
Well, um, it's possible that, you know, if if we didn't allow them, you know, they have to come here with by, you know, to be asked to come here. They can't just come see you because you're the king. So perhaps we could do something like that. Well, if that is a law, then that is something that we can do. If not, then bring them in. If I die, I guess I'm going to die. But I will defend myself and try to be the king that the gnomes of Rhaegar need. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens. So they all start going out. You see, there's a lot of official, officials coming in. You know, the the, the, the collector's priests, the uh, the pages, and they're all coming up. And everyone's dying to see who, who, who is <laughs> is coming and make, making their way uh, into the the throne room. And finally, you see the gnomes parting. Reroll to Dan, coming from Tim Shanks. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. You see the gnomes parting and coming in in a large suit. Is somebody you've seen before. Oh! <laughs> Here he is, Ross Yeah. Let's go. You see Reggie coming in. Oh, no. <clears throat> In an electro suit that has been modified and powered up. I take my applause back. <laughs> Come on, you knew who I was going to be. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Reroll to Rob coming in from Phantom yeah. in the Morning. <laughs> Look, he's here only 10 seconds. Yeah. He already got a reroll. That's how he does. The legend. That's good. <clears throat> I'll turn his mic off. You're on now. Oh, and Charles Another Morrison one, Charles one. too. You got two rerolls coming in. Reggie the Infamous, they say. Keep them coming. You are all in trouble now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Reggie walks into into the the throne room, and you're stopped by one of the the gnomes, who's a royal page, and he goes, I, "I'm uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, is, is is Reggie in there?" Yes. You, you listen. You weren't invited. You, you have to be invited to come see King Dado. I'm very sorry, but I think you're a bit confused. I'm Reggie Wrangles, as you said, esteemed member of Gnome Patrol, and I am accepting my invitation that Dado did offer me to return to the city. They look at each other, and you see, like they're all like discussing. And one of the older pages come up, like one of the wiser um, advisors, and he's like. <clears throat> Let him in. Um, that's right. Okay, I, I guess come in. So they bring you in. You walk in. Behind him walks in, apparently, members of some alternate gnome patrol? Oh, well, well, well. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Here comes trouble. You see two other members... Is there two or three members? <clears throat> Just two? Uh, it should be three. Andrew, you're you a you. Should be three. We only have two of you right now. Yeah, it should be. It should be okay. three. Cool. Yeah. Well, apparently he's waiting in the ship. There's another one. So yep. he, he walks with two two left left wing man and right wing man. And they walk in. Uh, guys, describe your suits. Go ahead, Andrew. Okay. Uh Mine's a, an electro suit, just like Reggie's, except not as upgraded. But, you know, sparks everywhere. Little Tesla's cool. all over it. Nice and armored. Pretty pretty cool looking. Charles? I got the uh, Vibro suit. Uh, slightly modified. I um, mean, it's canary yellow. Wow, very nice. Sweet. So they come up walking. They all walk in. All three of them walk up. And they stop. Reggie, you walk into the center of the room. And King Data is there. Reggie, it is good to see you. Why, thank you, Tato. Good to be here. Is there something I can help you with? There is indeed something you can do for me, and I think all the gnomes of the kingdom. Sure. What can I do? We all understand you did what you thought was right. These chaotic times, someone needed to... Be, act as a leader until things could get sorted out, but things have gone on quite long enough now, Dato. You must acknowledge you have no legitimacy as a king. You must allow gnomes to choose their rightful leader. 
I believe I was chosen by the will of destiny when I sat upon the throne and made the wishes. I did not attend to, but that's what happened. Is that not correct? It was not at all what was intended to happen. This was supposed to be choice for free people but choosing that, their leader. That was the will of everyone. It's not the will of my people. Our people? You were there, Reggie. We went on a mission together. You were a part of what everyone decided to do. So was I. You were on board before. Why not now? I thought we all could perhaps work together, but after seeing what has been wrought, I fear your actions, the actions of no patrol, seek to bring this whole kingdom to war, to destruction. People will no longer stand for it. I must insist that you step down as king and allow us to hold free and fair elections. And if you will refuse, I do refuse. I am sorry, but that is, I, I must represent all the people who believe in me. I've only been king for about three and a half months. Believe in you? You have no idea what the will of the people is. You've made no effort to discover I've, it. I've made many efforts. I have set up many new trade routes for the city so that we could be prosperous. I have reformed Gnome Patrol, which you were invited to join. Gnome Patrol has now brought the Silver City into the fold. They are now our allies, and we have a guild set up there as well. This is very fortuitous for us. Yes, but I hear rumors coming out of Souls of Trouble. Yes, we have actually dispatched Gnome Patrol to go to Arcane City and see what is going on, to see if we can help them and to forge a friendship. Sources all over Andaria say that something terrible has happened in Souls. The Gnome Patrol is bringing us all to the brink of war. First, they insult Queensland. Now, they brought violence to the very heart of the arcane city. I'm confused what you wish to happen here. I cannot step down. That wouldn't be right. Wouldn't be right for who? It wouldn't be right for all those gnomes in our kingdom. Deo, I know you're a bit different than the rest of us, but surely you must understand the inconsistencies in your reasoning. You claim the gnomes all support you and want you to be king. I do not claim that. I believe that half the gnomes are upset and half the gnomes are happy. I would like to offer this because you seem upset. Right now, I have sought to solve a very important problem. As you see, I have sent Gnome Patrol over to the Arcane City. It seems like there may be some difficulties there, I'm not sure. If you believe that you can do better than what I am doing, I will offer you this compromise. If you can go to the Arcane City and do a better job than what I have done, then I will allow your supporters to choose the next king if that is the will of the people and allow everyone to do a revote. So your supporters may choose your representative. My supporters will choose me if they will, and we will let the citizens vote for it. Do you believe that's fair? I do. Great. I imagine you have an airship outside. If you do, go to Arcane City and help them. If you feel like you do a better job, then I will keep up my word, of course. Very well, then. If I feel as though I've done a better job, we will have those elections. Well, it needs to be clear that you've done a better job, of course. It cannot just be based on your own decision, just like a voting cannot be based on your own decision or my own decision. <sighs> I will send a representative with you. Please do. Clearly, your court needs some schooling in diplomatic arts, and I will be happy to display them. When Gnome Patrol has failed, the new Gnome Patrol will succeed, the true representative and defenders of the Gnomish people. So we will send a collector's priest with you. The priest will join you, 
and as they always have been in Rengarian society, an outside observer. Give me the name of a priest. Click to the priest. Sylvian. Sylvian. Ooh. Sylvian. Will you please go with other gnome patrol? Yes, of course. I will accompany you. All of you have heard it. When I return successful, we will have elections. And the people will choose a new king. Whoever that may be. Before you go, do you agree that you will accept Sylvian's decision as arbitrator? We will accept Sylvian's decision. Excellent. And I will as well. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank Good you. luck overthrowing me. <laughs> it is not I, Data. It I believe it I. is. Good day to you. Good day. Walk out. Okay. You walk out. Your uh, foot soldiers follow you. Andrew shows me yes by his. Uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I, you guys. I'm outside still. Yes, yeah, so you're. And you're this back. This suit is really, really slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. You go outside. You make your way to your to your um, your airship outside, and um, when you get to the airship, you see members of the Mott family. And you see members of the Wienerton family. And they're all supporting you. They're very excited for you. And it's 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 probably about like 13 different people all like have their own connections. And they've they're responsible for your your any wealth put behind you. They're responsible for your suits and any new modifications, things like that. And they're also very excited about a a super project that they're working on that they believe is gonna be the thing that's gonna really clench the deal if anything goes wrong, this secret weapon. So um they get filled in on what's going on. You see them at the, at the dock, and I'll let you role play with um, your gnome patrol. All right, well, we've got our plan. We've got to go clear up this mess that Data and Gnome Patrol have made themselves. It'll be uh, easy, boss. What plan is that? Do we really think it's going to be that easy? Uh, I'm sure it won't be at all. They've probably done disastrous, horrible things. I've never met a more mean-spirited bunch in my life. So, we will try for the sake of all gnomes. Well, yeah. we'll follow your lead. Very well. Okay, you guys uh, get into the airship, and again, you're probably about an, uh, an hour and 20 minutes behind uh, the other gnome patrol. You guys set off. You fly after. Okay, guys, I'm going to put you backstage. We'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to head over to um, the Arcane City. Rob, who should I start with? Do you want to start? You want me to start with Deltuvin, Dan, or do you want me to start with Liam, or those that are in the airship flying above? I'll let you choose. Uh, it's like Final Fantasy. Choose, move your character to yes. the story that you wanted to have. Um, I heard you say that Dan is unconscious. I think so. That sounds like could be interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk. Let's go to him. <laughs> Great. Just, 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 just be and Dan looking at each other for a while. <laughs> Okay, so Dan, Doltuvin, you watch your friends rise in the ship and you feel as Hex digs his fangs into you. But the feeling of him pulling life out of you isn't exactly what you thought it would be. And perhaps, perhaps it's not what you thought it would be because it isn't. You don't feel like you've been turned into a vampire. You're just still drained. And you, you can see like the red light inside of you from the cracks in the rocks, obviously you're a transformed character, just kind of drain out of you and you start to fall unconscious. And as you're falling unconscious to the floor, he is yelling in the light. And he's also in the light, going up to the sky and hitting 
the arcane shield with full blast. And the shield just goes red with red energy. The same elemental energy that came from you, from the chimera crystal that you absorbed. During it, the process, and during this time, in the next like 30 seconds, when you're just like on the floor and like you're going in and out, there are other vampires around you. And you hear him say to one another, This power is amazing, but there's more. For some reason, it's not drawing all the power from him. What do you wish to do, Master? I must have it all. I can become something far greater. Bring him down to the inner sanctum. There, I will pull all the power. The sanctum has has not been opened in many years. It is forbidden. It is forbidden to those who do not have the control as I do. I am in charge. I am your lord. You will bring him to the inner sanctum. I do not care for old vampire lore. Bring him there, and I will be there shortly. Yes, Master. He pick you up. The last thing you hear is that. They bring you down below Arkham's Tower. The next minutes, you don't know how long it is. It seems like a nightmarish time. You relive the moment that Hex is behind you, drawing away your power. You have nightmarish alternate versions of what happened in your mind from springing up. Finally, you're brought far below, so far unknowing to you, far below the tower. How far below, you can't say, but it's not just a basement. It is something much darker and deeper. Time passes. You wake up and you look around, thinking Indiana Jones when he's he comes up with the uh, the candles around, mm-hmm. knocking the candles over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So you, you you wake up and you're in a similar situation like with candles around and like you're just having this nightmarish dream, and you're um, you look at your body and you see around and you don't know where you are. It's freaking you out and it's all stone around and you're in some sort of uh under dwelling basement or something and you look around the room and you see torches on the walls and you're alone and there's candle just around you on this like stone slab and like you're just looking around and you you see your body is blue like you've ch- you shifted to modes and you can feel that a lot of the chimera crystal has been removed from you you can tell the fire has been removed it's gone but whatever is left is there. And this place, perhaps if it wasn't for your own cold demeanor from the crystal inside you, you would feel the cold evil of this place. You look around and as you're sweating, feverish perhaps, you finally start to notice the walls. And in the walls, there are sarcophagi. And there are name tags near each one of them. What do you want to do? How many sarcophagi are there? There are five. Five? Yes. Um, my body, am I still elemental? Am I still stone? Yes. But you're blue. I'm blue. You've lost all of your fire powers. Anything with, with fire heat is gone. Okay... Ice remains? Yes. Okay. What, um, my stats are still the same? Your stats are the same. Oh, okay. I, I was expecting to just be like a regular gnome again. I know. <laughs> no, no elemental powers, no suit. Okay, that's good news. Um, can I get up? Yes, you're still dizzy, but you can stand up. And I stand up and I want to go uh, examine the sarcophagi. I want to look at the names on the... You stand up, and you're wobbly, you start just walking walking around. You start making your way over to one of the sarcophagi. That is where we will pause. <laughs> Rob, who's next? Airship. The airship from last week. You rose up and you basically were like, get out of here! And you, you, Sparky is flying and 
start flying full speed. You zip up in the sky. Within about five seconds after where we left off last time, in your amazing speed into the sky, you are reminded of the closed shield that is encapsulating the entire city, perhaps because it goes from blue to like this fiery red. And Sparky turns the ship dramatically and goes, this shield is up. So he, fly, he flies around. He goes, where am I going? I guess they're not letting us out. Well, we have to get back to Deltuvin anyway. I thought we were going to have a chance to go tell Data what was going on before. We were Clearly, stuck here. We, that was supposed to be the deal. They were supposed to let us out. How come the shield's still up? Clearly, they're not letting us out. So let's go help Bill Tube in the best way we can. So what do you want to do? Um, Sparky, you want to try shooting our way out? Uh, I could try, but that's... I know magic, and that's pretty strong. I'm not going to shoot it down with bullets. I say... Wait, do we see any of the um, vampires still on the building? Uh, there are vampires on the buildings. In fact, there's vampires on many of the buildings. Like, they've all come up because when that red light went to the top, it drew out the population that you didn't quite see before. And now they're all, like, creepy style <laughs> on, on top. Like, looking up basically at you. And... Shoot at all the vampires. What? And then we'll land. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? I'm sorry. What would you like to do? I, I don't know, but, like... That that um that seems really uh, dangerous. <laughs> like I mean, that, 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 okay, they're, they're all gonna attack us if we do let's that. Let's put it this right? way. I mean, we stay up here. Eventually, what? We get attacked anyway. Go down there. We get attacked. Maybe we can take out some vampires before we get attacked. Evan Moniz, welcome to stream. I can always use assistance, Evan. Evan. I can always use assistance. Evan. Evan, if you remote it in, I will let you come on the episode. I don't know. I mean. Yes. I don't, know, I don't know what we should do. They were supposed to let us out. We're supposed to be on the way back to Rhaegar right now. Michael Alger suggests lots of fireballs. <laughs> Sparky does have fireballs. Look, if we open up a little hatch where I won't fall out, I can start dropping bombs and, you know, take out a bunch of them. Sparky, how long can we remain in the air? Indefinitely. It's magic. <laughs> all right all right if that's what you want to do let's try it the series finale what are we gonna do <laughs> no problem evan just enjoy the show <laughs> michael says galinda for the win <laughs> okay so what are we trying officially okay is there any way to like because i would know this we've been on the ship for a while is there any way to open like a small hatch for, i'm not gonna fall out and like I can just start throwing those bombs I have down no. where it's going to hit them. No? no. There's no small hatches. There is... The main hatch, right? <laughs> yes. You can open the main it's hatch. It's, it's, the hatch. Yeah, it's just the ship. You could just go over the side. You could throw them off there's the a, side. There's a deck. Yeah, you right. could be yeah. on top. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw it off the deck. Down at, 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 at like obviously not the building that we saw Del Tuvin in because I don't know where he is. I'm not going to blow obviously. him up. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> just going to blow up it's the surrounding area. You have to <laughs> specify in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blowing up the ones that are more than 50 feet away from the building that he was in. Okay. Just to, re just to recap. You are going over to the side. we have to be oh. more than 50 feet away, too. You're definitely more than 50 feet, obviously. Yeah, you're, okay. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so just to recap. You are going over to the edge of the, the ship, <laughs> flying around the city full of vampires that are all looking up at the ship. And you begin to drop bombs on them. Bomb that's what she city. wants to do. Let's do yeah, it. That's, yeah, I knew that's I would be a better diplomat than, than you guys. <laughs> okay, so you start to drop your bombs over. <laughs> you start unleashing. I can imagine you have a, 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 a huge amount of them because you're on the ship and you're throwing the ordnance over. So the ship, people are helping you. You're just launching bombs. <laughs> and it is a literal air, air raid. And uh, it's I getting... I should have stayed in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, you're dropping dropping your bombs over. Let's let's see how much damage 
Yeah. That's going to be. You know what? We're going to put it on pause. <laughs> That's a lot of We time. got that little flag. I like what's going on over here. I'm very excited to get back to you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm very excited to get back to this. Oh, oh. <laughs> now oh, yeah. we're going to go over it straight to Liam. 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 Yes. You are in Arkham's Tower. You are standing in a hallway in a common area that we've seen once before in Arcane City. And it's on the first floor. And you're just waiting there, and there's three vampires that are standing with you. And they look at you, look at you like, like they're just thinking about eating you, but you're a vampire, so they're kind of confused. Like, no, I can't eat them. But I want to. But I shouldn't. But I can't, really. Or can I? They're just, but they're kind of just sitting there to stare at you, having these weird thoughts. Um, and you see vampires, at one point, come by you and bring Doltuvan down. He's unconscious. One of them says, uh, what happened? It looks like we're bringing him into the inner sanctum. He wants to drain all the power he can from him. Hex goes too far. Perhaps, but he's in charge. <sighs> they go down. Who's left with me? It's the same three vampires. So, uh, what, what's the inner sanctum? The inner sanctum is a dark and unholy place. It is very powerful. Much casting has been there over the years from the Iron Circle and from elder senior officials of the Arcane City. It is a place of rebirth and a place of death. Some say it is also a rift between this world and the next. The dark shadow world created by the necromancer himself. Wow. And that's, that's just like downstairs? <laughs> it is just downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like asking where the bathroom is. Oh, yes. it's just down the hall. Uh, go downstairs when you see the plant make a left. <laughs> can, can, I just, can I go down there? I start walking like no. down the stairs. The intersector is off limits to all, even to Hex. But they just took. He just went down there. Well, they've been ordered to put him there by X. Don't you want to see what's down there? I'm very curious, yes. Let's just go see. No. Come on. <laughs> I cannot. Come on, but it's be really cool. I am charged with overlooking you, and you must stay here. And no, you cannot go, and I can go with yeah, you. That, uh, I just run, and you're supposed to be looking after me. If you run, I have to eat you. Well, what if What if we just, you know, I, I just go, and then you're like, ah, oh, I gotta go chase him, and then we go see what's down there. <laughs> roll d20 roll natural 20 he gives in <laughs> ah 13 no <laughs> ah. <laughs> alright well so what like can I go anywhere else you're just keeping me here my prisoner right we now we must stay here until Lord Hex says otherwise alright well where is he you will be patient <sighs> I mean okay how do you feel being a vampire? I don't know. It's kind of cool. That's why I want to go do stuff. Huh? I'm just sitting here. Yes, your first rule, patience. I mean, I guess, right? If we're going to be around forever, we got to be... Patience. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, also curious, right? About like downstairs, you know? Yes, really but you go. must be patient. Uh, okay. You know who also has lots of patience? Who? Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one. Thank you. Uh -huh. Um, he tells that joke every day. It's not <laughs> funny. Uh, I, the first time I heard it, it was pretty good. Yes. I thought of it. So, um... I look around the room. Is there anything like... We're just in a regular hallway? It's just like a, a waiting room, basically. You can go up, you can go down, you can go outside the main doors. Okay, I'm just gonna like walk over here and see... What's going on? Start going upstairs. Do not go upstairs. What the heck, man? Stay in the room. <sighs> okay. I go look out the window. That's allowed. <laughs> okay. We're now going to go back to other gnome patrol. <sighs> you're flying in the sky again about one hour and ten minutes. Maybe you made up those ten minutes because you're in a rush. So ten minutes, one hour later, you come in and... <sighs> 
and start flying around the arcane city. As you arrive, you can see a ship from inside come up and dash up somewhat near your position, but towards the, the shield, the sky, and you see a red light come from the center. And you see there's a vampire there. The vampire goes like this. And fire goes up to the air. Hits the shield. And the shield just goes blood red. I'll let you role play with your crew right now. What was that? Does anyone know what that means? Shield goes red like that. i never seen it. Copy good. No. Oh. I, I imagine the shield being up at all is not a good thing. Nah. How are we going to get past that? Well, we're going to ask for permission. There seems to be some action going on inside. I'm not sure they'll let us in at the moment, but uh, we will let them know. We're requesting shields to be lowered. And I'd like to enter Silst. So, uh, <laughs> yes. How are we going to do that? We would go to the <laughs> standard area where travelers, <laughs> merchants. Area, if you really listen to Rob's words, it's really funny. You get, don't, don't, if you get lost in a toe, you don't notice. But if you listen, we'll go to the standard area. <laughs> where and all travelers where's the standard area? Like, like some kind of diplomatic meeting area? Uh, which is anyone can go, yes. Diplomats as well. It's right over there. Captain. I, I'm going to look where he's pointing. I don't turn, see you, anything. You point over to Captain Air Stepper. <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh, what? no. Ha, 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 ha. He's a real gnome. <laughs> yeah, you could have him. He stinks. Here comes the Air Stepper. <laughs> you, should be, you, should be, you should be looking at Dan's face right now. <laughs> Good surprise. Todd, could you come move the camera over, please? <laughs> it's just slightly askew. Let me do it. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do it, though, when you are the person <laughs> who's framing the shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, Captain Air Stepper, you can come. You, uh, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll zoom I'll, out. Maybe that might help. I don't need to be on camera. It's no big problem. You can zoom out a hair. Just touch. A touch. A touch. A touch. A touch. A touch it no, that's zoom a zoom out. in. <laughs> okay. Catch a little more. That's, that's good. That's good enough. Damn it. Good enough. There I am. Yeah, sneak. Go slowly and draw it out even more. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan, move towards Rob. Ta-da. Get a little closer. <laughs> so Captain, Air, Captain Air Stepper says, he goes, ah, right, let's get a step in. <laughs> he flies around. He's looking for a way to get in. Dan is very upset right now. Dan feels betrayed. I wish I could go to Dan's mind and hear his thoughts. I like this captain's attitude. And drink his jealousy juice. He's a good captain. <laughs> you, you should <laughs> like his moxie. <laughs> yeah, he'll just quit on you the last second. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. He's terrible. <laughs> There's all gnomes on this ship, though. He's awful. Captain Air Stepper. <laughs> all gnomes on this ship. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so Captain Air Stepper takes you around, and he goes, he goes oh, there's no way in here. Yeah. He's just flying around. You see the, uh, another ship, all of a sudden, the ship you saw before, flying around in a circle inside, and apparently they start <laughs> throwing bombs out, and you see bombs just going down and start leveling the city. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, perhaps we better... Uh, pull back. Pull back. We don't want them to think we're associated with this attack. What are they oh, doing? Wow. That's awesome. like right. going back. really West well in there. <laughs> I just got air stepping, and you want me to <laughs> pull back from the shield? All right, you're right. He just wants you to there. step away. Where, find us to the, the us entry placeway. Yes, I'm going through it. No, <laughs> oh no, 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 we got to air stepper. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! See Everybody, you. roll a d20. If anyone rolls a 20, Captain Air Stepper. Pushes oh, it man. through the shield and oh, gets good. it somehow. All the other 20? Natural 20! Oh! Oh! There it is! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Thank there you, Jamie. Captain Hair Stepper. He goes into it, and he's like, ah! You see him like turn the ship. The ship's going. At the same time, at the same time, the fire is hitting, hitting the shield. Seems to be actually waving the shield, and you see the fire starts burning the ship, but also allows the ship to pass through the barrier. And he air a step wow. in his way through the shield. Whoa. It flies in. And as you're flying in, a, a trail like a comet of fire is coming off the back of the ship. Uh, that can't be good. The ship takes 25% damage. Okay. okay. And by the way, That's both amazing. both airships have 200 hit points. Your airship now has 150. But you're inside. Sparky, okay. you see that? We're going to roll uh, a aware check. We're going to check ahead. Yeah. See if you notice. Fifteen and above, you notice. You actually, you definitely don't notice. You're you're, you're dropping bombs and laughing like a maniacal person. <laughs> I rolled a fourteen. Oh no! Oh. Reroll. Oh. 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 No. Oh, no. Reroll. Oh no! Just noticing them. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like it. Oh my god. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh. All right. Okay, so you see the ship coming in. It's on fire. It's above you. It's flying around. Sparky, did you see that? <laughs> he goes, yes, I see it. All right, take us out the same way they came in. Go for it. He goes, um, what do you think? I think we should not do that. They're on fire. <laughs> yeah, but look, they're still flying. The ship is on fire. How else are we going to get out? Look, they made it through. This shield stinks. Let's just go talk to him at least. Do I hear this? Yeah. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> I'm throwing bombs off like a maniacal crazy person. All right. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> what do you think? Um, no, they're on fire. We don't know who they are. I, and we have our friends out there throwing bombs for us. You're going to pick If you want me to go, if you want me to friends out there. <laughs> what friends do we have out there? You know, the Besides people who are helping me throw Friend. bombs off the side. They're still out there. Oh, you have gnomes it. on the ship helping you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. I, I thought she was imagining people. Yeah, <laughs> all the Don't people you in see my head are coming out right Don't now. Don't you see them? <laughs> <laughs> and my parents are here. <laughs> Woo. Hey, she worked on that mountain alone for a while. <laughs> yes. Are your bomb throwing right, well, friends in the room with you right now? <laughs> They're here. Don't you all see right, them? Well, There's that's, a seat that's right All here. the bombs I'm are alive. <laughs> Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> that's my idea. That's what I said we should do. If you I want disagree. me, if you want me to try, I'll try. No, I disagree. We don't have Deltuvin. Yeah, I know. We didn't have him when we took off either, but we were he's, still he's, on the way out of here. Because it's a Gnomish airship. Should we at least see what's going on? Yes, we should. I agree. All right. Okay, he goes up. You see the airship coming at you, direct beeline right for you. All oh, right. We pull up next to them. <laughs> I guess I see. Do I see them? Okay, so you're flying over here on fire, and your crew is trying to get the fire off, they, and they're coming. At, they're coming at you. Now, they don't know. I'm gonna make yeah, a roll for this. Yeah. Well, they don't knows. know what Sparky is going to do, and you don't know what's happening. The ship coming at you. So I'm gonna give you one round only to have any sort of action before the ship arrives, and I roll to see. What happens? Rob, you have six seconds to decide. All right, I'm going to prepare. I'm anticipating that they will pull up alongside of us to communicate with us. So you take no action. Right. Take no action to defend yourself. Correct. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. <laughs> what? Did he? <laughs> Nothing. Everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> The ship comes up very fast. <laughs> she comes flying up to you. We're going to put you on pause. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back to Dull Tuvin. Dull Tuvin, you walk around the room. You see the sarcophagi. Once again, there are five of them around the room. This place feels more evil than you could possibly imagine. You're dizzy, feverish, perhaps. And you walk away around. The, you walk your way around the room. Do you walk up and read with your gnomish eyes the, the sarcophagi? I do. Plate. I do. I read them. I read the names. You approach the first one, and it reads.
Cerulius. Season two. <laughs> I was just gasping for dramatic. It was good. <laughs> Says Archmage Cerulius. Do you continue your journey along the nameplates of the sarcophagi? I do. <laughs> you walk to the next one, and you read, Arch Cleric had held. Scrow said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Richard is very excited as well. <laughs> This is going to be exciting. <laughs> do you continue a journey? I do. You continue a journey to the next Sarkavaka. Don't you find me startling? You find Bardo. I knew that was coming. Continue your journey around the room. I do. You go to the next one. And the name on it. What is it? Say it again. Vigorous? It is vigorous. <gasps> yeah, who else? One more? You walk around to the last one. And wouldn't you know it, this one seems to be scratched. Impossible to read. You can't tell who's inside. I look very, very closely. Now, what do I see? Fit. You can. Oh, <laughs> and, and that would be the biggest while. I would end the episode right now. <laughs> That's it. See you next season. <laughs> that ending, though. <laughs> uh, you cannot read it. It's just scratched to a point where you cannot simply read the name. There's no evidence to, to help you out at all, unfortunately. I lean closer. Can I still not read it? <laughs> but all of a sudden, Do you hear that? Oh. What is that? Bombs. Oh. Is, that, is, that, is that bombs? <laughs> <laughs> is there bombs going off above? It's Kalinda's imaginary friends. It sounds like it sounds like it sounds like something. Wait, you listen closer. Let's all listen. Oh. You wonder if it's in your mind. Or is it real? What do you wish to do? I wonder. Don't I, uh, I look at the fifth sarcophagi. I put my ear up to it. The ticking doesn't seem to be coming from there. It seems to be coming from a different sarcophagi. I walk up to Bardo's sarcophagus. Yes. Press my ear to it. This could be the right one. You put your ear up near the sarcophagi and listen. the right one. I walk away. I go back to the fifth sarcophagus. Uh, you hear a voice. I can help you. 
you are in the inner sanctum. We could forge an alliance. Who is this? A friend. What is your name? Not important right now. It is. It's not. you want from me? You are about to be devoured. Your time is running out. I could help you and save you from that fate. There are many great and powerful beings in this room around you. And within you, is a power never seen on Andaria before. I sense it. The power of three extraordinary and very different crystals. Except one is now drained, and two remain. You could use the power of one of them to raise one of the beings in this room and still retain one power for yourself. Why not do this before you're destroyed? What are the two crystals that are inside me? I thought there was only one left. There are three. But there were three, I should say. I mean, it looks like I still have my ice powers, right? There are two others. The fire? That's the one that's drained, right? I would agree with that assessment, yes. The other one is something I have not seen before. It is the power of... the power of life. A life that you could give to someone else. I would bid you choose me. And together, we could destroy this false vampire. What if I choose one of the other people that are here? It is your choice. But you do not know who they are aligned with or whether they will help you or not or merely kill you. I wish to only safeguard myself and therefore do not care about you and your friends. I will simply kill Hex. It's your choice. The ticking stops. His voice is gone. And we return to the bombs in the sky. We're now going to roll a D20 going around the room. Every time you roll a 15, it is a whopping hit on one of the buildings in the Arcane City. Okay, obviously you have a front row view to this. You're seeing this as they come up, the ship comes up. You're, you're seeing this is before they did that first run. So you're seeing that that stuff and you're seeing the last of the bombs. And then when they approach you, if it's good and not an attack, you'll be able to talk to them about it perhaps if you wish. So we're going to go around. I think we're going to go around um, three times and we're going to let the fans, uh, uh, the fan player characters get involved in this as well. Everyone's going to roll D20. If you roll a 20, something explodes in that building, and that building is leveled. It is gone. Sweet. We're gonna do rounds. One at a time, fan player characters get ready to roll. Only, you can roll right now, but don't, just tell me when I come to you and point to you. Here we go, let's do this. Dan, you're up first. Seven. Eleven. Natural one. Eleven. Natural one. Oh. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Eleven. Two. Nice. Uh, Charles. Five. Andrew. 18. Oni. Two. Two. And Richard. 16. Two hits. 16 and 18. So two buildings <laughs> get rocked. The vampires get thrown off of it. Another building gets rocked. The vampires get thrown off of that one as well. I, as you know, most of the buildings have vampires on top of them. But one bomb 
one little bomby with the meant to go over and somehow it boom clinked and rolled on the inside. Well, that's not good. <laughs> We're gonna roll for that. Ah, that's too powerful. Now is it? Uh, it's, it's a one. You're throwing a bomb. Yeah, that's be dangerous here. So, one d one hundred damage oh to the ship. No. I'm gonna allow you to avoid it by using three points of survival. Just avoid the damage. As long as you got it. You grab it and chuck it back overboard. <laughs> no, you can't. You're not chucking. Is you dodging out of the way? It's falling on, on the ship because you already rolled. The one is already rolled. So it's still gonna hurt, but it doesn't the hurt ship. the ship then, right? It's gonna hurt the ship. It's not gonna hurt her. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 oh. I took three. Yeah. Okay. So roll one d one hundred, please, and that's how much damage it does to your ship. Could you please um, keep the hit points of the ship, which is currently at two hundred? Currently at two hundred. Okay. Yes. These two, or that is, yeah. Sorry, two hundred. You said? Yes, two hundred. Was that thirty-two? Thirty-two. Thirty-two damage is done to the ship. Boom! The ship gets rocked. Wow. Second round out of three. Dan, go ahead. This is a seven again. Seven. So far, we have two buildings rocked. Eighteen. Three buildings rocked. Eleven. Melissa. Four. Damien. Twelve. Charles. Six. Andrew. Ten. Oni. Also ten. Richard. Natural twenty. Oh. Ooh. Natural <laughs> 20. <laughs> That's our Richard. Incredible. <laughs> Classic Richard. Natural 20. A building comes in. Now, uh. here's the front of this one. You're throwing those bombs out, but we don't know where they're going. So it could be it could <laughs> yeah. be anywhere. We're going to roll 1d20. Melissa, you're going to roll that die. And I'm going to say if you roll a 15 or higher, it's going to be a named important building, which could yeah. be which could be the Arkham Tower. If you roll a natural 20, it's just going to be Arkham's Tower. Yes. <laughs> He's like, yes, oh, I no. wish. You got this. 19. Oh. oh. So, so now it can be Arkham's Tower, but it's not definitely Arkham's Tower. So here we go. Oh, man. We have Arkham's Tower is going to be one. We have the, um, the governmental building, which is two. We have the center square. You'll destroy center square on three. Oh no. The marketplace oh, no. on four. Uh, the docks on five and and six will be the front gate. I feel like she just hit like a potion repository and it just like chain reaction. Exactly. Something like that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I have the list right here. Make that roll. You're rolling a 1d6. 1d6. Come on, Oogie. If it's, if it's uh, number one, that's Arkham's Tower, and that's going to be interesting. One! Oh! 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 Why would you do that? I'm in it. Oh. No. 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 So we all wow. want No. Re -roll it. Wow. Oh man, and the bad guy's in there too. He could have died. We have the roll for possible hex death. Wow. I'm in do there. it again. Do it again. Don't do it do again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. You got yeah. this. What? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Oh no. my god. So proud wow. of you, Melissa. So proud. I, awesome. Wow. I am fire. <laughs> where, where did you get that info in? A bomb drops and is falling it's right on Arknum's tower. We're gonna come back to that one as we finish round three. <laughs> oh, bro, okay, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, guys. Go. Last round. Still falling. Sixteen. Sixteen. Rock in a building. Eighteen. Oh. Nine. That's five buildings that are hit. Fourteen. Fourteen. And a one. Ooh. A one. Oh, Reroll the one. Okay. <laughs> Damn you! You know your rerolls. Eight. Eight. Okay, Charles. Three. Okay, Andrew. Sixteen. Only looks like he's got a good roll here, or a bad roll. My my, my very my very first Discord tw natural twenty. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Natural twenty. We're gonna go to it. I'm gonna let you roll it. ahead. one d six. Where is it going? Is it going to Octave Tower? <laughs> Two bombs. Octave Tower. Let's do it. Roll six. I see this. Four. Four. 
which is the marketplace. The marketplace is obliterated. It goes up in no. flames. Oh, that's sad. Of flames, <laughs> Richard. Richard. Nine ten. Yeah. Nineteen. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Nineteen. So that that is six buildings that is rocked. Yikes. Okay, guys. Six buildings at the end of everybody. So six times. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'll be six. Everybody, roll. This is uh, this is just just hits of the building. If you roll natural twenty, I'm gonna make it a keep key building that's hit instead of just a rocking thing for the fun of it. Roll your d roll two twenties right now. If you roll a twenty, let me know. If you don't, don't worry about it. One. Seven. Fourteen. 11. 11. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so five buildings get like half destroyed. Vampires are upset, killed, knocked off the buildings. The marketplace is on fire. And now the mega bomb has been dropped on Arknum's Tower where Lord Hex is, where Liam's character is Ace, and where Doltuvan is in the bunker far below. Good good place to be when it, people are dropping bombs. That's true, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I also did say I was looking out the window. That's great for you. <laughs> so, if I see a bomb coming, you, you do not see a bomb coming. See a bomb coming. <laughs> Windows, just so you know, go this way. <laughs> and bombs come in from this way. Oh boy. Okay, so the bomb is being dropped. It's basically leveled the building. It's gonna go through. It's just it's just about how much damage it does. I sense it leveling the building. It's literally gonna level the entire building. This is gonna literally changes the entire story oh because of the bomb princess over here. Okay, so the bomb comes down. <laughs> <laughs> the building goes down into into rubble, and we're gonna roll for a death save. Oh on Lord Hex. Oh I'm boy. gonna let three of you, whoever raised their hand first, Rob, everybody over here, <laughs> you're all gonna roll a 1d20. Mm -hmm. If you roll a one, I'm not allowing any rerolls for this. Okay. Okay. If you roll a one, Lord Hex dies in the bomb blast, which I will be very upset because I have lots of great story, but I will allow the death. Come on, kill him. This roll, I've rolled two ones on this already. Do one, it again. One, kill him. Remember, no re-rolls. Whatever you roll is what you roll. Do it up. Who wants to go first? One at a time. I'll go look, first. look at them. They're almost the power they feel they have in their hands right now. <laughs> Ooh, 17. Oh, I thought it said one. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought it said one. 20. <laughs> <laughs> For Dan, that's like a one. That's amazing. <laughs> For Dan, that's like a one. So it should count the same way. <laughs> um, Lord Hex gets strunk. Something's got to happen. Somehow. Yeah. No. He's <laughs> oh, wait. <coughs> he absorbs the blast. He absorbs the blast. It's fire. That's exactly what oh. happens. So the, the, the bomb goes down, gets destroyed. Every, people go flying. Vampires go flying. You go out in the street, you're going to take a lot of damage. Oh, no. And um, <laughs> Lord Hex gets thrown into the air, and as he's in the air, starts stops falling and just starts flying and absorbs to the fire. I am a god. You are gonna roll. Okay, so damage, make it fair. Let's buy a window. 1d100 damage. Oh my goodness. You cannot do the just one column, and it must be done to all of your hit points so in, in, any, in any order if you want. Well, no, on golf oh. with me, I would do 100 to each oh, column. Okay, okay. You're doing 100 total. Yikes. Make that roll. Hmm. Okay. 30. You lose 30 points. Across columns? And you, yes. Anyway, okay. I'll let you do it any way you want. It's not too bad. Okay. Okay, you get thrown out into the street, and um, you land on the ground. You are souped up as a vampire, so... Um, oh, you're... Am I in my suit? You're, I was about to say, your suit is destroyed <gasps> the blast. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. The whole, all the building comes in. So instead of you get collapsed, the suit just gets destroyed. You get knocked out. It's in pieces around you, but you're on the street, and like you get up. Another suit gone. Another suit gone. <laughs> <laughs> two Another episodes, one. two suits. Another one bites the dust. There you go. Um, that is all the bombs. Lord Hex is made stronger. You're not affected, but you feel above. You're everything shakes. Dust falls on the ground. And we're gonna stop right there for you. 
Um, the ships come up. The ship comes alongside the other one. You guys are flying next to each other. You've dro you've dropped bombs. The um, the gnomes are getting more bombs right now. They're refueling, and you guys you guys may now speak from ship to ship. Stop! Stop! Who is that? What are you doing? Is that Reggie? Oh, it is I, no. Reggie Wrangles. <laughs> I have been sent by Dato. We were sent by Dato. To do this? Yeah. I. That's not what I heard. <laughs> oh yeah, what you hear? That you weren't supposed to come and just bomb indiscriminately throughout the city. That was only this after they attacked us. I was right. Not... I told Dato oh you would have blown God. everything. Oh, you're such a whiny. Land little... your ship. I no. will try and make. Oh my God! Here you are again, listening to yourself That's... speak and not anybody else around you. I know you love the sound of your own voice, but how about we actually tell you what happened and you sit there quietly I'm for afraid. a moment and then you can judge. Oh no, you can't, because your mouth is already open to hear your own voice again. That's right. I'm afraid I must ask you to land your ship. I'm afraid I must Captain ask High you Stepper to also. Oh yeah, we how must about land. you land your ship? We, we are land going to land. Ship. Good. Captain Go High Stepper. Lead the way, sir. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> Here he goes again. Gad, you go Putting land down there and yeah, deal with making, the vampires. Making Go ahead. orders right. and not listening to what actually happened. You know, don't do this down there. I'm here to clean up, clean up your mess. You're yeah, here sure. to be a, a poo poo head I, like you've been in the past. <laughs> yo, yo, what is. What? 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you serious right yo, now? Yo, 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 yo. Control your woman. Are you okay, like, say? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> farming the city? <laughs> what is happening? Well, how about you listen and we'll let you know? No. That's right. No. 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 We no. must let me make right. up my own story. <laughs> oh, this is what I love doing best. We are not going to talk about it. Here. We must cease. <laughs> <laughs> we must cease all violence. Land your ships. We must. I will discuss this Who with the vampires. Who died and made you boss? Yeah. I have been sent by Dato. There's. We go ahead. Said go, talk, news. go talk to the mega vampire. Who sat there and tricked us into coming here has injured Daltuvin. We don't even know where he is. He might be dead. Go ahead. Go talk to him. See what happens. Have a great time. I hope you don't come back. Yeah, Ace is down there, too. You've left all your companions behind. Not left. They were oh taken prisoner. Okay? They, we barely got out of their line. Okay? Hey, the vampires are treacherous. Captain Highstepper. Air Stepper. Air Stepper, please. Oh, you don't even know his name because you only hear the sound of your own voice. Yeah, no These guys you suck. Teamed up yeah. with that guy. He's the worst. He is not the worst. He was a wonderful captain. He, left he takes a ship he and goes, <laughs> he rams into your ship. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Yes. no. no. <laughs> what? Well, if we're going to do that, I'm going to be throwing bombs. No. <laughs> he, he just he knocks a ship and, like, scrapes a ship. Uh, you guys take um, well, 10 damage. Okay. He's got air rage. He's I'm like, here. They're a bunch of fools. They're going to get us all killed. They are. I'm here on behalf of Dato. I've taken control. We're here on behalf of Dato. I know, and he sent me the second he met me. I kept second I came back to the city. <laughs> second he met me. <laughs> second I came back. I like the cut of your gym. Get out there. <laughs> okay, city. <laughs> well, all right. So you're here to solve everything. Yes. Fix all the problems. All right, then go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Go, go, ahead. Go, ahead. go talk to the vampires. Go That's ahead. the worst thing you can say to Rob. Go ahead, Rob. Go ahead. Do, it. do it. I dare you to do it. Go ahead. I double dog dare you. Goodbye. We have 5,000. I don't want to interject in any of this, but we have 5,000 stars coming in from uh, nice. Evan right now. Evan, that is amazing. Awesome. awesome. Evan wants to give a plus two to all attacks. It, it is done. I'll award uh, the plus two, and I'm also going to hand it out in... Um, Actually, I don't know if I want to give rerolls to everybody right now. It's really going <laughs> to... Evan, let me know how, how you want me to give give out the 5,000. And don't let them decide. Just choose and get it done. Thank, and that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you Thanks so much. Thank you. You're great, Evan. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Maybe let the uh, priest here have a, have a say. Let us <laughs> priest. <laughs> The, the priest the priest walks up and he's like Whoa, I was below. What is happening? Oh well, my lord. Unfortunately the Oh your ship decided to just crash into us for no reason. <laughs> oh she's jumped ahead over several parts of the story here. I, oh, I, I jumped ahead. I cannot get involved. I am an outside observer. He is simply here to observe, so let's observe. <laughs> observe that she threw bombs all over the city. 
I did not observe the, the well, bombs. I, mean, I, I did hear the bombs. Yes, well, we had to. They there were many. Us. Well, did you destroy anything important? <laughs> Maybe, but they attacked us. They deserved it. What did you destroy? That big building in the middle. He looks over. He looks over the sort of ledge. It's just it's night, and there's fire coming up from six different buildings, and and you see Arctum's tower is just leveled and gone. It's like you destroyed Arctum's tower. It is the it is the very essence of the arcane city. They attacked us. They tricked us. Why are we fear Equal rerolls. Oh, another thousand! Bring the pain, Tony. Oh, oh ten, uh, what? Oh, wow! Ten thousand! Jesus! Whoa. And that's he said. Bring the pain, Tony. So that is rerolls for me. Oh man! That is twenty Tony. rerolls. Uh, Tony, or you, you you could actually buy yourself an enchantment. Oh, um, oh man, I'm I'm taking the rerolls. <laughs> that brings me up to a nice clean thirty rerolls. All right, so how many? Uh, we get? And I'm gonna <laughs> use them. Wait, so how many do we get from the split? <laughs> Zero. Zero. No, you got you got a bunch. Um, you guys get ten. Ten each. So two each. Two, four, oh, six, two. eight, ten. Nice. Two each. Hey, hey, Reggie, man. Hey, there's a vampire, and he's like glowing and yelling about being a god. Maybe we should like not be here next yeah. to them. Yeah, see you down there. <laughs> That's my fear. <laughs> Have things gone so far that uh, I'm a little uncertain how best to proceed? I think we should get the false away from them. So the, the collector's priest, happened. the collector's priest right now is uh, basically just kind of watched everything. He stays out, and as, as you heard him make clear that he's not to be a part of any decisions. You can't tell him. You can't say, "Look at this and look at that." He's just <laughs> he's observing, but he's now fully observing everything else, and uh, he's watching and not getting involved. So you guys can continue your, your conversations. Go ahead. Do, do we want to be associated with these guys? You can hear, by the way, you can hear him talking. No. <laughs> Not really. Oh, good, we don't want to be associated with you either. Reggie. Yeah. Go down, land, they're, have fun. They're bombing the city. Let me just take the ship out. They suck at everything they do. I'll sink it to the ground. Very well. Sparky, Captain. fly away. Take him down. With Sparky, pleasure. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> Okay, so he first he attacks. That is a hit. It's gonna be eighteen damage. Okay. He hits it, pff, hits out, and then starts go, uh, going forward to kind of come around. Sparky's like, it's like, it's like, ah, what's happening? They're attacking us. There he goes. That, he goes. Don't worry. I, I have a few ships uh, uh, tricks up my sleeve. He goes, um, no, so he goes, get to the arm the cannons, get to the big cannon below. <laughs> Actually, someone get to the big cannon below. Okay. That is the giant cannon. <laughs> okay, so, so Arky, Arky runs um, to a part of the ship down down Sparky. below. Sparky. 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 He's still, still doing it. <laughs> uh, he runs down into the center of the ship, and you see there's, there's a spot there, and there's all these um, crystals on the floor. And Sparky goes to it and puts his hands on the floor. And he seemed like, uh, closes his eyes. And he goes, uh, opens his eyes, and you see his eyes are lighting up all different colors, and the ship starts acting like him. And you realize Whoa. Sparky's a technomancer. Whoa! So the ship all of a sudden starts going, <laughs> he has full control of it. <laughs> it flies like a bird. Awesome. And the ship, and the ship, and you feel it, like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you make your way. Hold on. You're like trying this, like trying to, <laughs> trying to make your way down. Wow. You get down to down below, and you sit in in the. Um, like the gyrosphere and the huge cannon. The cannon is, is probably like 30 feet around. It's like, so I was looking around. <laughs> I was like, oh, yep. man. what do we got in this thing? A Cuisinart? Yep. <laughs> okay, so you guys are coming around. You guys, all your cannons are on the side coming out, and they come out in two different rows. And it's just a, an amazing amount of cannons. Um, you also have your crew that's, that's standing by, and you start coming around for a pass, and you guys can go first. Okay. Do I see him? Do I see yes. Ship? Yes. Shoot the All big right. cannon at him. So yeah. your damage is going to be 4d10 damage if you hit. Oh, uh, you got us first. You're sitting there like... 15, 15 or higher <laughs> is what it's going to take to hit. Okay. We roll. Okay. <laughs> is that okay? If, so if the shots miss each other, do they just bombard the oh, city? 14 again. Well, you get your luck. Yes. Oh, plus luck. Can you, yes, can you I mean, tally how many bullets? I mean, how many shots? Yes. 
Okay, I, I hit. Uh oh. 40-10 damage. It goes <laughs> as they're passing. It goes. <laughs> you see this giant uh, blast cannibal come out uh, on fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, 21. 21 damage to the ship. Rob, you're taking over the uh, command of the ship. You're, you're, he's flying it, but obviously you're in your control. You can um, do your pass and make an attack. All right. Full broadside. Oh, baby. Reroll. <laughs> <laughs> no. Seven. Seven. You're up. Okay. Uh, like, a leaf in, like a leaf in the wind. <sighs> uh, Twelve. Uh, I'll reroll it. Oh. Nope. Luck? Okay. Use your luck? Yeah, with the luck. Still You're up. Nine. Nine. No good. Keeping it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, I'll try one more. Rerolling. Yes, seventeen. Forty ten damage. Deal it. Leans excitedly, Five. adding up all the missed shots from the city. Uh, 13. 13 damage. Come on, Rob. Get a good look. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Captain. Yeah. Uh, five. Keeping it? Can no. Rob... <laughs> Can Rob pick someone else to roll for him? No, I got this one. Richard, Here it comes. You want Richard Here to roll at no, 523? What's your luck? Oh, I should be adding luck. Eight, nine. Still won't make it. Eighteen. What? Your luck? Right? No, 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 no. no. Your, your luck only adds like up like oh, three, four well, max. Yeah, your luck's three. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're. Okay. My luck is twenty. <laughs> no. To describe missed. this battle, it's basically they're passing by. Your ship is like firing cans. And nothing eats. With this big shot coming out, it's flying, yes. uh, flying uh, making these amazing it. bank turns. The ship's coming down and diving, and it's just so it's a full-on war at times. Like passing by, and it's all having all happening over the city to Liam's delight. Twenty-four damage. Twenty-four Ooh. damage. It's the only way we That's can prove to the damage. vampires we're not their enemy. It's further bombing the city. That's what the vampires are saying. Look, they're not our enemy. <laughs> they're about to be our lunch. <laughs> okay, we'll... Oh, look! Try one more pass. Barbecue! It's DoorDash! <laughs> oh. Is it a 1? It was a 20 that rolled over. Ah, uh, okay. Reroll it so, or keep it? Um, Don't forget the, the plus 2, Rob. Okay, right. So, wait, it's still a miss. Um, this is the time for rerolls, I think. Okay, we're gonna do it. Yeah, not doing the boss fight with the giant god vampire. That's <laughs> 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 That's for later. Ah, uh, 10 plus th 13. 13, you fell short. Plus the 2, Rob. 15, Rob. 15, Rob. 1, 15. 1, 2, 1, 15. 2, 3, 4. Rerolls for the four guests. He just gave Whoa. two oh. rerolls each. Did I do it right before? Ooh. He did 5,000. Before he did 5,000 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. 1, 2, 3. For the four guests, there's five of you. No, uh, they, they mean Patreon. 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 Mean that. Oh, for the Patreon members. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Rerolls, you guys got. And that's from uh, Evan coming in. Sorry, I was confused. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Evan. Oh, boy. Thanks, Evan. That's four of them, right? That's you. That's uh, two rerolls each for each of you. Awesome. Thank you, Evan. Okay. Guide you guys. I'm up to three. Okay. Here we go. Now, now is the time. All right, fine. One more. He's using a reroll. Okay. Nope. Fourteen. Oh, plus the two. Yes, I got it. You got, I got it. Yeah, I got the luck. That's fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Cause we get a plus two, right? For every attack. We're getting a plus two on attacks. Oh, you do. Right? Okay. You so do. I you got it. you got that from Evan. Yeah, he used it a minute ago. Didn't he? Yeah, thanks, oh, so you, uh, you're all getting the attack. So, okay, so everybody's yeah. plus two. Okay. Right, so uh, roll your... so we hit. Here we go. Damage. Forty ten damage coming in. Uh, Eleven. Finish the ball for me. Twenty three. Take it. Pick it up. Hit Rob. <laughs> well, that was fun. Nice. That was fun. Yeah. It felt real. Let's do that again every time. Twenty three. Okay. <laughs> Twenty three damage. Yeah, we are looking good. Airstepper's like spinning the wheel. Captain Airstepper. We've... Taking too much damage. 
Evasive maneuvers, land this plane, the ship. I, I, Lady, you'd be a bad idea. <laughs> no. He's got your rolls. orders. He's Quick got stepper. Rolls. You have your orders. <laughs> Quick stepper. <laughs> Reggie, we gotta abandon the ship. <laughs> no. <laughs> He comes, he he comes in, and you see him like press a couple of things, and you see the ship in the front opens up, and you see a huge blade comes out. Oh, oh. What? All right. They call it wow. the swordfish. Evasive maneuver, Sparky. He's coming in, increasing speed. Okay. He goes, I'm gonna rip through the whole thing. All right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh sure, now you, now you agree with him. You're gonna roll unless you want one of your compatriots to roll. You might want Richard to roll for this. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, give it, Richard, give it a shot. <laughs> we can't oh. hear him. You muted. You muted, Richard. Richard, you muted. Yeah. Sorry, I, I I'm using I'm using a reroll because I rolled a one. Oh. Uh, I rolled an eighteen plus my luck. Uh, that make it a twenty. So he comes through <laughs> and rips. Oh, plus, oh, <laughs> he comes into the, into the ship. Sparky, because Sparky has, has amazing control, is, is moves the ship partially out of the way. But he rips. Underneath the entire uh, thing, and we're gonna roll a. I'm gonna roll a d6. If I roll a one, two, one or two, he rips off the cannon underneath. That you're inside. No, no, he's in a gyroscope, a gyro thing inside the uh, ship. You just lose the cannon. Nope, he does not. Roll. Oh, 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 oh man! I was waiting for it. Here it comes. Was that Andrew? Yeah. Two. Oh, no. Yes. The gun goes. Poof. Falls, <laughs> falls down. They got that <laughs> it huge cat that falls down. <laughs> well, and now the damage. It is 1D100. Rob, you can pick any person you want to roll that damage. Who do you want to roll? Anyone. All right. Let's say not Richard, because Richard just rolled something. So somebody Charles, else. Charles, do it. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. 65. 65 Ooh. damage. All right. Crusher. The whole ship is opened underneath the entire thing. And you feel the air like rushing in. That's like stepping in a third of all the hit points. <laughs> yeah, Sparky's like, that was a hard, that was a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Does he feel it through the ship as the techno? Oh, band? what is this? Coming in from Evan, she here, 1,000 and finally two re uh, oh. so, so, so that's okay. that's for all of you to re-roll me. That's, that's two. Okay. I'm not gonna celebrate that one, Evan. <laughs> Wait, what happened? We can re-roll him. You can re-roll me. Times. Oh right, oh, okay. when we want, when we need to. John, this says, and he said this battle is taking place over the city. I hope oh, there's no collateral there damage. Is. Are you kidding? There's, there's so lot. much collateral <laughs> damage. <laughs> Liam is oh, calculating much. the collateral damage as we speak. By the way, that's an amazing book. I just thought. Thank you. Okay. I got a, I got a question for Scrub. Yes. Where's the axe? Where is the axe? Backfighter? That's, that's a good question. Yeah. It's probably in Arcane it... City. Well, yeah. And it would you be like where I was living. Which was? There, which was... Uh, Hard and destroyed? I'm not, I'm not sure exactly where <laughs> my character was. I had, a, I had, a, I had a, like a some little place someplace where... Uh, did you guys live in Arkham Tower? You did Dash. live in Arkham Tower. But that, no, that wouldn't be there it now. It was where Dash was living, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would so, easily say that many, many years after that, we don't know where it is. It could be in the city it's or in taken the city out. Someplace. I will roll right now to see if it's in the city. I'm gonna let you let Should you know. Be. What are you looking for? If it's uh, 15 or 15 or above, it's in the city. I do. Want to re-roll me or keep sure. it? No, keep it. It's in the glove box. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. For now, I get a bag. Evan, thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> Not the fact that you did it against me, but it's awesome. Anyway. I think it's awesome, Evan. You did a great job. <laughs> great. Okay, so uh, let's continue the battle. Um, you're up. A devastating hit. You go. Um, so uh, that's the gun I was controlling. I know that's... Gone. Nathan, you're exactly right. You are correct, Nathan. I'm not going to put that comment on the screen. I'll put it up later. <laughs> Good. Um, gun's gone, right, that I was using? Yeah, you're like, nothing's happening. <laughs> What's All happening? Right. So I, I get out of that thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, How far away are they? You get, you get out of it and the ball goes, <laughs> the ball drops. Um, I mean, calculate the ball because it's falling. Oh, oh, the ball drops. <laughs> How far away are we? How far away? Oh, you're just going back and forth, so it's at any time, you're any amount of feet away. 
Can I throw a bomb at him? You could try you anything not? you like. We have other cannons and stuff we could use, right? I mean, the cannons are firing every single round. Right. It's just it's just in your damage, just to make make it simple. You can throw yeah, a bomb. We're, we're not in if, you hit, if you hit with a bomb, I will add a lot of damage. For a ship, okay, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll add um, I'll add three D ten damage if you hit. That's gonna be hard. So I'm also gonna make that. It's actually it's your combat. So you're gonna have to achieve a. She not a not a natural, an unnatural twenty. So I'm adding my combat, right? Yeah. What if she flies? Uh, if you fly, well, now you can't do because it it's a metagame. Oh. I got oh, oh, but I add that no. But that would have been a thing to do: fly <laughs> around and be bombing mm. the ship while. Yeah. I'll reroll it. Okay. No. Okay, so you throw the bomb. The bomb falls to the ground. It goes down to the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does that hit another building? We're going to see later. We're doing, Liam is calculating it. We're going to find out after. Okay, so um, you go, I think. Yes. Uh, give the cannons fire. Six. Fifteen. You roll if you wish. No. Is that your you close to? Fifteen hits, right? Yes, that's... Oh, you're 15, you said? Yes. Oh, that's a hit. That's it. All right. Yeah. 40, 10? No, for you, it's going to be your first hit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be yeah. a 2d10 for you. Oh, man. Yeah. And actually, actually, your damage is now 2d10 as well. Okay. Just lost it. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. Can't win. Well, no, uh, we got to hit him with the blade damage. again. I mean, hit him with the blade again. I. <laughs> because it's going to run for the blade, but you got Alright, uh, fire the cannons! Um, oh. okay. Who knew that the soul of Rhaegar we'd fought over in the skies of Solst? Yeah. That's a miss. Seven. That's a miss. I'm going to increase, since you're both at two, uh, two uh, 2d10, I'm going to raise it up to 4d10 for both of you, just to kind of move it along faster. You go. Wait, you want, can I throw yeah, a bomb while he's doing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You can, do, you can throw your bomb. Should that be a one because you rolled out of the thing? <laughs> no, because it didn't roll off the table. <laughs> okay. You're up. Bomb. That's a bomb that went down. Can we do the blade and cannons, or is it the shoot? No, because the cannons are shooting out the side, and the blade means he's in front of you. So can we, since I fired last turn, you could, you, you, You're in suits. If you want to do other things on the, on the ship, like you have four guys sitting here. They're all ready to go. You can do other things, or you could just let him try to cut through. Down on the there just, ship. just so you know, the cut throughout works. If I miss, it does damage to your ship. I know, Captain. We have taken on quite a bit of damage. Are you sure she can stay, you know, airworthy? She'll make it. Yeah, I sense you were just saying that. No matter <laughs> what the condition is. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right. But maybe she'll make it. All right. Ram. <laughs> Here it goes. Three, that ain't good. I'm gonna reroll it though. Yeah, yeah. It's for you, Rob. Fifteen. Oh, yes. boy. <sighs> one D one hundred damage done. Who do you want to roll? All right, Andrew, roll it up. Oh, I got you, boss. Oh baby. I'm down to twenty nine rerolls. Don't do that much. Oh no. Ooh, ninety. Oh, nice. Oh, that's it. Nice. Reroll that. Okay. Yeah, Whoa. that's exactly what you need to do yeah. in that situation. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Got this. A Twelve. Oh, oh, oh man! All right. <coughs> Twelve. This episode just keeps on delivering. Jeez. Twelve damage I, is dealt. You guys go. While we while we ram into them, can anything we can do? Like, You're ramming in. There's not much you can do. You're going that fast, and you have collision happening at the same time. You okay. can jump off the ship, but unless you, you could try <laughs> something. But, to shoot. What do you want to do? If we had stuff to shoot, you could try to shoot as you're passing by. But this, any other attack would be normal, be easy. This is going to be a difficult. I'm going to make you do it at a disadvantage if you want to try. It. I ain't got nothing better to do. Okay, go for it. Did you roll a one? Oh no, we're good. Oh. Nope. Right. I move. hit fifteen with the, the cannons. Okay, one second. What happened, Charles? Miss. Uh, miss. miss? Okay. Okay. Natural twenty. Unnatural twenty. 
Oh, so it's a hit. I'm gonna re-roll you. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> I just I saved you from using yours. <laughs> Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Twenty-one. Are you adding your luck? I'm adding my luck. I'm adding the two combat, and I'm adding my my regular combat. But I re-rolled you, so the luck goes at reverse. Ooh. Wah, wah, wah. What? I re-rolled you. So you don't get luck on it when I re-roll you. Negative 18. luck. So you hit, right? 24 damage. 24, you rolled 40, 10, correct? Yes, I did. 24 <laughs> damage. Do you guys want to announce how many hit points you both have left? I think we should. I'm okay with it. Okay, Rob, let's hear how many hit points your ship has left. 45 hit points. Let's hear 55. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay, so you're oh, up. Man. Keep blasting, Rob. Rab him, Rob. Let's blast away. Let's get close enough. And Rab. Rab. Launch, launch the crew onto this ship. Take them out. Right. Wow. Yes. Oh, my God. Right. He goes, he takes it, takes it around. He comes across. We're going to do a piloting check for him to try to do it. Here it comes. It is a, it is a one thing where it's on the edge. Okay, so here's the reroll. No, he cannot get. It's, that's unfortunate. He comes with you. You're still firing. You can make your attack, but he cannot get close. So you guys, just so you know, uh, Captain Airstep is trying to get you guys close enough to jump over. Uh, you can, does not get close enough. He's not able to work it All out because right. Sparky's flying too good. I'll fire the cannon. You can make your attack. How close did he get? 19. That's a hit. Not close enough. It just doesn't work out. It's a fail either way. 2d10, I'm rolling. 4. Four. No, okay. back to 4. Nineteen. Okay. We're ahead. Nineteen damage. This is not good. That's a big chunk. Okay, guys, go ahead. Natural one. Oh. <gasps> That's a bomb on the floor. No, re-roll. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, That's another bingo. one. Damn. That's a bigger bomb. Oh, another fucking one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's two bombs. Yes. Rob, I'm going to let you roll the 1d100 damage. No. That bomb, that bomb broke. 1d100? That's what it is. It's the bomb. Oh, my God. It's a bomb to her own ship. This could be no. it. Yeah. 1d100. Do it, Captain. Oh, wait. Yes. Are you going to save yourself, too, with the survival? Yeah, I can fly off. Just roll. Use oh your points. Oh, my God. What? Use your points. Yeah. Well, you'll have to you wait for the hit. Wait, you're gonna fly off the ship? No, no. Wait, what am I gonna do? Wait, Stay on there while it's being blown up? There's a metagame happening right Here now. You cannot talk about this. 71! Oh, oh yes. no! Uh, Reroll. Yeah, how do you like it? 56. Oh, oh no! That does it. Ah, oh, <laughs> the bomb drops! Hoisted by your own uh, bomb! -bomb. <laughs> Drop the bomb! Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> As it's going off, using your points, yeah. you fly it off. <laughs> she flies off the ship. Sparky gets gets roasted from the from the inside. Oh, and Sparky, Sparky. Um, you were in your suit? Uh, no, I don't think so because I was in the, the turret. But then you so, got out. Then I got out of the turret, but I didn't. Come on, like, what's the odds? I just got in my suit in that second. I mean, well, you were out for the turret for the know. while. I, I would, I would. I would say that the suit, the suit is not far away from me. I would say the suit is right there next to the I mean, turret. We are in a battle. Yes, I would say so. I, I have no problem saying that you're in yeah. your suit. All right. Um, you still, have, you have a whole other problem though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the problems. fire damage does not hurt you because you're immune to it. Yeah. But you're falling. <laughs> so you come out. You're falling out of the ship. If, if there's a cameraman, the cameraman going down. We'd be like, just flowing down. You're flying off. Uh, Sparky, we're gonna roll death save for Sparky. I'm gonna make everyone here roll. A one, two, or three is gonna end Sparky if anyone rolls it. We're gonna roll one oh. at a time, just the five of you. Rerolls Start, no Starting re with Dan. Uh, no rerolls, to be fair, for the hex side of it. What am I? One, two, I'll make it a one or two. One or two kills Sparky, he's just dead. There's a lot of rolls. Sparky. <laughs> That's it. Get out of here. Really? You created him! Yep. I knew it was coming because I created Sparky oh, under the same circumstances. Man. And now, on a death save for Sparky, That's I roll the one. I was so excited about Sparky being a Technomancer, and he's gone. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> the ship breaks apart. Sparky gets ripped into pieces. 
he dies. Oh, he is gone. Oh, that's so pissed. It is fitting. You, you, you took him out. Oh, man. Great. Go in. Man, what an ending. Okay. So we'll have to, I'm pointing to Robbie as the roll, but no, he does not have the roll. Because that Victorious. is it. Who goes right now? So that was a ship. So you're falling from the sky. What do you want to do? What do I want to do? Uh... It's maybe the end of Yo-Yo. Yep. Yo-Yo Baggins. I'm falling pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a warthog or a leg? Don't help him. What? I can't even help him. I can't hold him. I'm gonna... That's a good question. Uh, are you over water or land? Because there is uh, a, a, bit, a bit of water, but it's not that much water into the shield. I'll put it at like 10%. So you can roll a 1d10, and if you roll a 10, okay. you let, you're going over water. Nope. Nine. I'll let you re-roll it. Re-roll. Let's see. Good luck. Nope. Three. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay, so it's over land. Where'd you roll, though? So I can tell you where you are. A three was the final roll. So yeah, you're sorry. actually, you're, you're like near the front of the city. Between the center circle and that inn you, you guys always go to. The tavern. If you had rolled a four, you would have landed in the burning market. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, I do it by, okay. if I do it by here, you're landing in center circle. Do hmm. you see? So yeah, you're landing near center, sir. Um. Well, not much I could do. I think I'm gonna fire the heavy cannon towards the ground. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think a war machine does that, doesn't he? Or, or Iron Man does that? They that's fire what fires below to keep. Yeah, that's below. what I'm gonna I do. That's that's science. It works. That's science. Okay. It's science. Yeah, it's, it's something. Okay. Okay. Let's go, okay, so Professor Yo-Yo. Your... There's not much else I could do. So, so I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna put you at a thousand feet above. Okay. And uh, you are firing your cannon down. Now. Wait. So go ahead, fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good roll. Miss. Uh, really? The I'm ground. Ki I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Missing. So the you. Ground. So that's you. A, that's a. Tw 27. Okay, so you fire down, it slows your descent a bit, and then your descent just picks up again. Okay. So that's that. So uh, I'm going to do it again when I get close to the ground. He was just testing. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> where I would, would wait to get close to the ground. I, I, although, I don't know how much it's going to work when you get close to the ground. Um, I, I remember, you're a heavy suit, you know. All right, shouldn't I be? All right. <laughs> how long does this fall? I was it's long. <laughs> When I flew uh, off, I was like trying to fly feet. out of view while like the thing is going off so they can't see me come off or where I go. So can I roll for that? All you can do is fly and escape <laughs> the boom. She's like, I fly in the way and they can't see me. And I fly intelligently upside down <laughs> and in behind the No, no, you leave and you live. Uh, I just fly as far away from the sh their ship as I can. Okay, so you guys see her flying in the air. I don't know what you want to do about that. You're flying away, you guys can go now, go ahead. All right, Captain. Now you may I told land. she holds together. Be Captain Air Stepper gets it done. Your brilliance has been well noted and will be reported back. Good. Write it down in your diary. I wrote it down, don't worry. Wonderful. So, please now, land so we can begin our mission. Uh, There's still one in the sky. There's one in the Let's take her out. Uh, all right. Get her! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All you really convinced yourself there quick. He goes, this dude really hates he goes, these uh, gnomes. He does. He goes. He goes. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring the ship next to her. You. You do your thing, crew. He r flies. He flies over to you. He, he can fly obviously faster than you are. And he's gonna try to uh, come alongside you. Here comes the roll. Seventeen. So he comes along. Roll that. Okay. Uh, he comes close to you. The ship is on on you like this, but he's not able to get to this round. You're waiting. You're still falling. <laughs> How many rounds? Do you want to just be splat on the floor? I'm just saying, like, you're high up in the sky. What do you think oh, happens when you, you said like it's twenty seconds? When somebody's on a plane, they jump out. They don't just jump out, hit the floor. They fall for a while. That's how okay, it happens. But usually they're many thousands of feet in the air yeah. instead of one thousand feet in the air. It's, you, it's... For one, you started a little bit higher than a thousand oh, okay. feet. The shield is gigantically huge, <laughs> okay. and it still takes a while to fall a thousand feet. We don't okay. know, we don't know like, the gravity effects you pick up on, speed really fast on this planet. Falling. He's yeah. also heavy, isn't like super he? Super fast. Well, the the heavy, the weight doesn't matter too much because everything's air resistance. Right. Same, same speed. Air resistance, but we also don't know gravity. 
doesn't have to be Earth's gravity on this planet. We never established that. We never established that. We're all established Earth's gravity. We've established gravity. There's gravity. There's gravity. There's air. There's gravity. Wait a second. There's no gravity. He's just floating around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So never Everyone there. can fly in this game. <laughs> okay, so you are you're flying away from the ship. They're on you. What do you want to do? I'm gonna fly down, like straight down. Okay, you fly down. He's on you again. Here he comes. Pilot check. I'm gonna re-roll him. Nineteen. So he gets to you. He actually comes in and like puts the ship right underneath your feet. Uh, other anti gnome patrol crew. What do you want to do? <laughs> Nick. She's uh, she's, te she's temporarily on the ship with you as you move the ship right underneath her. Grab her! I'm gonna run up and punch her. I want you to. I'm gonna hit her with net gun. I'm gonna hit her with my. I'm gonna hit her with my. Uh, with my drill. Okay, oh, so oh, what happens? Here's what happens. Oni <laughs> runs up and hits her with the drill. This, and the next action is Charles shoots the net gun at obviously Oni and her. So that's what's happening. <laughs> Oni, uh, take your attack. Okay. So we're, I'm, I'm using EXO as my uh, as my thing okay. here. Yep, it's your technology. Yes. Okay. So roll twenty. That's, that's a nice hat he's got. Yeah, six. I know he's got that audio. He's, yeah, he's got that nice. audio bling. Okay, so I rolled a twelve. I don't think it's gonna be a hit, right? What am I looking at? My block. Yeah. Block your yeah, no, evade. No evade. No, still not a hit. No, it's a miss. She comes up to hit you. You're dodging out of the way. And all of a sudden, a big net comes. Go ahead. 22. 22. Uh, Oni, does that get you, the net? It's, uh, seven, yeah, it's yeah. my seven, so... It's, it's both of us. We're both in the net. Okay, so all of a sudden... Oh, I, my, my block is 23. Your block is 23. Your evade well, is what? What's your evade? My evade is 13. Yeah, so it's, it's basically a touch attack, so it still gets you. So the net comes around, hits you and, and Oni trapped with you, both together on, on the net. And uh, Air Stepper takes his ship and flies around. That's Air Stepping. Bag of gnomes. Battle up. Now, we may begin our descent. Where am I landing? This whole thing is ablaze. Okay, we're going we're gonna to pause right there for a second. We're going over to Dull Tuvin. Underneath, deep in the bunker that is the underdwelling of what was Arknum's tower, now destroyed above, you are around, surrounded by many sarcophagi. What do you wish to do? Um, I'm feeling all the vibrations of all the explosions from outside. Yeah, and obviously, obviously the one that rocked the, the whole tower above. You, you pretty much know that, like, you must be within the rubble. You, don't, you really don't have any plan of how you're going to get out of here. Okay. And I'm going to answer, I'm going to pre-answer a question for the future. Okay. No. <laughs> now you may go. <laughs> Just pre-answering. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know what the question is. Yeah, you I will know. eventually. Eventually, <laughs> eventually you'll It'll know. It'll come up and the answer will be no. Then yes. you'll know. Okay, there you go. I think I know what he is. <laughs> I have a question. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, what's your question? Um, based on what I assume was Bardot mm -hmm. telling me, do I know how to apply the power of that crystal to one of these sarcophagi to raise whatever or whomever is inside the sarcophagus? And the answer is no. Was that the question? Yes. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're pretty good. <laughs> this is what I do every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I, I walk over to the scratched out sarcophagus. Okay. Uh, I try to open the sarcophagus. You go to the scratched out one? Yeah. Let me just go through my notes here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I had four names. I accidentally said five. So I had... <laughs> Why didn't he go right? I only prepared for left. No, this is no good at all. <laughs> no good, no good. Remember that I said, uh, make a distraction. I can get out of here. <laughs> okay. You go over to the sarcophagi, and you're moving the lid, I imagine? Yeah. Okay. So. 
You move the lid off the sarcophagi of the one that is scratched beyond belief where you cannot see who it is. And inside, you see a person that you don't know who it is. <laughs> um, do I see any significant markings anywhere? No. Male. Uh, you believe to be human. Definitely turned into a vampire. You can tell the characteristics. Sigil? There's no sigil. Uh, is he, uh, any, any clothing that is still, uh, in? He's naked. That's how you know he's okay. naked. He has no. some sort of robes on. Uh, colors to the robes? Blue. Blue. Blue robed vampire. Man, <laughs> hair, <laughs> male. Look under the robe. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> right, right the death. Raven. <laughs> oh my god, the raven. Imagine? Oh, I, I thought um, he said raisins. Yeah, I heard. Oh, you see raisins? <laughs> raisins. <laughs> raisins. Is he old? Ripples old fruit. You're not there. Oh. How, how many rings on the penis? You're not there. <laughs> Jesus. We only get is. one joke per season that involves. <laughs> it's always the finale. You use your you you, you drop the f bomb. Besides your other bombs, you <laughs> dropped an f bomb. <laughs> <That was good. laughs> <laughs> you used up your bombs There's today. A lot of bombs. Now this All is right. PG thirteen. This dream. Yes. The following the rest of the episode will be PG thirteen. <clears throat> what do you want to do, Dan? Is he um? Is he just bones, or is he like? A vampiric. Does he appear to be a vampire body who's in a state vampiric. of vampiric slumber? You're wasting your time. The bones is money. <laughs> the bones <laughs> are their money. Um. You're wasting your time. Why is it that you're the only one I can speak to? Because I'm the only one powerful enough. You see, I prepare for everything. Even my death. Really? Yes. If I raise you, what will you do with me? I will do nothing with you. Really? Yes. You'll just let me go? Sure. Can you give me some more powers? Can I give you power? Yeah. I do not have the ability to give you any powers, except to turn you into a vampire. How are we going to get out of here? I could teleport out. Really? Yes. And you can take me wherever I want to go. Sure. Exchange for free. Absolutely. If I do raise you, what do you say we have some kind of, uh, I don't know, loose alliance? I'm listening. <clears throat> You know who I am. You are part of some ridiculous group called Gnome Patrol. Yes. That is all I know. When I joined Gnome Patrol, my idea was to protect Andaria. And every time I tried to do it, somebody was getting it my way. Because. I know what that's like. Really? Yes, I do because of, uh, I don't know, ego and personal gains. All I wanted to do was help the world and I couldn't do it. Okay. So now I think it might be better if I went off on my own and went around the world. I just did whatever I wanted to do, wherever I wanted to do it, to accomplish my own goals. So what is your ask? I don't plan on doing much. I want to go back down to the dark. But I do want to travel around the world. 
And if I see a situation that I want to get involved in, whether it's to help or help myself, if I need some help every once in a while in accomplishing a goal, if I contact you, will you help me out? I would agree to this, but I will not be called every day for the rest of my life to help you out of every situation, so there must be a limit to no, this. No, not like, like if I want to open a jar of pickles, I'm not going to call you. Yes, unless it was the one time to open the jar of pickles, then gladly pickle away. <laughs> How many times must I be called to help you? Five. You're negotiating, looking for three. No. Oh, how about two? How about I leave you here and we die together? I'm already dead. So am I. You die actually in about 17 minutes from now. On the timeline where you leave me here. Two. You're killed by Hex, of course. Three. Deal. Come over to my sarcophagi. Sarcophagus. Sure. <laughs> um. Circumference. <laughs> before I raise you, can we kill Hex? Hex is very powerful right now. I would be just. Born, reborn for the first time in a long time. I do not think it wise we take him on now. Most timelines show us defeated. Okay. Can you make it so that he can't find me? I'll tell you what, I can tell you more when you raise me. If you can do a little something for me. Oh, well, what's that? There is a watch. It is in my pocket. Mm hmm. It is a puppet watch. Can you fix it? Maybe. If you could fix it, I can tell you all timelines you wish to know. Really? Yes. Interesting. I... F I open up his sarcophagus. <laughs> You see a man in a top hat with a very nice suit. And he's sitting there like this. And in, in, in the, the breast pocket, there's a chain leading to, the, leading to the outline of what is obviously a pocket watch. I take the pocket watch out. Check it out. It's, uh, it's broken. This is for a gnome patrol. This is a very easy fix. Take you probably a minute. Oh, okay. It's not hard. You'll have to... Well, actually, roll d20. If you roll a one, you completely just mess it up. Five. <laughs> you do a great <laughs> job, but you figured it out. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a bit of trouble there. No, no, no. <clears throat> he is dizzy. You know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. He's got clumsy rock hands now. Right, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, see, so your friends helped you out. Yeah. Clumsy rock hands. Get your rock hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. Put your, <laughs> put, put your hand over my chest and imagine the energy within you going into my body. Okay. Roll the 20. 20! Whoa! Very good. Thank you. My watch. Very good. You have 14 minutes and 13 seconds until your death. Where do you wish to teleport? I could take you above as well. In fact, I'm feeling great being alive. 
If you want to go up and watch, see, see what the unfolding of this unusual situation above, what I sense it seems to be rather entertaining. We can stay out, clearly out of battle, just so we can see what's going on. And you can teleport at them, you wish, of course. You don't have to go. I just figured it'd be interesting to watch. Nothing like watching a, 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 a famous city burning to the ground in front of you. Sure. Why not? You disappear. We go back outside to where the uh, Captain Air Stepper is going to land his vessel. But first, we must figure out the explosions. Liam, oh. let's do it. So we had two missed big de uh, cannon shots. We had six missed regular cannon bolts. So we're just we're going to make it simple and just roll four. Actually, the big ones and the cannon dropping will be the, will be considered big and small. Okay. So so those are big, and anything else that's would be big as well. So there's the two missed. There's the gun, the cannon dropping, his ball chamber falling out, right? So the, that the yeah. Turret thing. Yeah. And then the giant cannon he just shot into the ground, I guess, would also be yep a big explosion. As well. Oh, that's true. Also. <laughs> and the yep. ship, right? And the ship falling, maybe. Right. Oh man! Right. Like the okay, yeah, the ship. That's so six big, big. Hits. So the ship roll, roll uh, five rolls. So uh, let's do it around here. So how many, how many big rolls we have total? Five, including ship as one of those. So four plus ship. So nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody rolls one except for, including me. Go ahead, Dan. You're up first. What are we rolling? D20. D20. Okay. Same rules apply as before. Man, wow, that's Arkham's fire. Tower again. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> yes. 12. 16. That's a building. It's rocked. Three. Ah, nine. <coughs> Does, uh, we don't want to destroy buildings. Does Hex have to make a roll again for Arkham's Tower? <laughs> for getting more energy. <laughs> Charles. Six. Six? Yep. Charles, you're, uh, Mike's going your, mic, your mic's messed up. Andrew. Net 20. Uh-oh, it's everybody's on our side, guys. Okay, roll roll quickly. Just let me know. Uh, thumbs up if it's 15 or above. If 15 or above, that's a hit. Oni. Charles, it. no. Hi. Oni down. Thumbs down. Uh, mine was okay. a net 20. Guys, I'm, I'm going to pull you out right now because the audio is bad. Uh, Todd, if, if there's any way to work on that. I don't know if there is. Um, okay, so... We have, we have quite a few hits. We had one hit there, and we had a natural 20, and then you had a hit. That's three, and then I, I didn't roll yet. Let's roll. And then that's no. So Arkham's Tower gets leveled again. We're now going to go back to you. Uh, did you. I'm just curious. doesn't mean anything. Did you leave Arkham's Tower? I'm just curious. <laughs> did you leave the area? So we didn't come back to it at all, but I was, <coughs> was going to go dig into the rubble to try to get down into the chamber. Oh, no. <laughs> I appreciate you, I appreciate you being honest. Place to be. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's see how much progress you can make. Um, I guess... Yeah, there's, there's no real checks. Roll a d20. You've had a, you've had a bit, so roll it five times. If you can give me a 12 or higher three times, you make it below the rubble to avoid the blast. The most of the blast. Nope. One. Nope. You may want to re, re, re roll these because it may end your life. Yeah. I got two more, so let's see. No. Re you can't. I was going to say, you can't re roll in the end for the first yeah. one. Uh oh. No. <sighs> That's it. Did it make it? Okay, so the blast comes down. It is 1D100. Made, made two. Two levels. You made two? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I will use a reroll. Actually, do you have, do you have a reroll? Do you have another reroll? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll let you use one of your rerolls and reroll one of the other ones. Give you one last shot, and then reroll 1D100 oh. damage. Okay. Ah, yeah. 18. 18. Okay, nice. You crawl underneath just enough. You're far below. You find like a passageway. You're going down. You eventually get to the steps and everything else. And all of a, all of a sudden, the uh, blast comes. You fall a little bit. You don't take much damage. It's okay. You're fine. And uh, you avoid the crazy blast. 
Arctum's tower is just completely rubble now. There, before you can see the remnants of it, now it's just rock. Uh, other towers uh, and uh, buildings get get rocked themselves. Yeah. Uh, before we move away from Arkham's tower, should uh, Hex make another roll? Oh, sure. It only helps. It. Man, so if it's a one, it's bad, right? If it's a if, one, it's if, it's it's a, we'll, we'll say it, we'll say it kills him. Okay, twenty. He absorbs more strength. Yes, twenty. Twenty <laughs> becomes more powerful. Do you want me to roll it? I do. I got again. Here we go. Thirteen. Oh. Thirteen. Okay. Meh. Meh, sorry. <laughs> you could reroll it. Yeah. Uh, no. Mm. no. <laughs> okay. So um, you guys land on the ground. We've destroyed more buildings. I want to say right now about 20% of the city has been destroyed, With obviously with the epicenter of it being leveled. Center, center circle is just a lot of rubble. And it, Captain Air Stepper has landed on um, the ground. We'll say near the docks because there's a lot of space there. And... Let's see if the audio is fixed over here. Andrew, talk to me for a second. Hey, what's up? Hey, we have audio back. Great job. Cool. So when I roll, <coughs> I got a net 20 on my damage. You net 20? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that no. Arkham's Tower again? You got to roll for X. <laughs> yeah, no. Arkham's, Arkham's Tower is just to gone. To figure out which one it is. Where are we doing that? N well, I was, Oh, 20 is automatic. I was just doing natural yeah, 20 yeah, with yeah. that, yeah. Actually, at this point, we should. Just, it's gotta be somewhere else. So come on. <laughs> got, got Andrew, roll one d six. Okay. Six. I wanted to roll one. Be Arkham's Tower. It's just a, a magnet for bombs. Uh, it is the front gate. The g front gate oh. is destroyed completely. That's helpful, actually. Um, roll a roll d twenty. If you roll a one through five, it, it's actually gonna take the shield down. Eight. Reroll. Eighteen again. Ooh. That still puts a hole in the shield, though, doesn't it? No, because it just would. It can't maintain itself with a hole, so it's just like hitting the shield and still gets weak and it goes gone. Yeah, sorry, we're gonna get back to you in one second. <laughs> so, Air, uh, Captain Air Stepper lands a ship. Where are you guys going? Um. All right. Let's get off this ship and speak to. Whatever remains of the city leadership, it appears, and make sure this one's well caught up in that net. We'll drag her along. Okay, so you're, you're pulling her in the net? Yeah. Uh, right, across. You, you get me out of the net first? Yeah, I'll get you out. Yeah, we yeah. get her out of her suit? <laughs> I'm yes. in a really big suit. It's going to be hard to drag me. Okay, so they're surrounding, you. they're surrounding you with guns, I imagine. Um, are you resisting? I'm not getting out of my suit. Well, okay. If a robber tells you to give him, his, give him your money... That's different. Five, four, three, <laughs> two. <Fine. Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they get out of the suit. What do you do with the suit? Leave it on the ship. Okay, put it on the ship. And what are you doing with Galinda? In the net. In the net. Okay, they leave you in the net and they're dragging you along. Dragging you along. Gotcha. Okay, so before that now is go over is Damien. Poor Damien left him straight right. there. <laughs> Struggling in the air. You ah! fall in the wild. <laughs> yeah. ah, that's me. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so you're falling down, you're getting close to the ground, and your plan is to make shots to somehow propel yourself upward. So uh, I'm going to let you do the shot, and I'm going to say this plan is not going to work unless you roll a natural 20, and I'll give you... Um, if you have to do a close to the ground, otherwise it wouldn't make sense, right? Yeah, it's so, pretty much one chance, I think. Well, there's, um, there's the right. myth of the World War II bomber who fell right, that guy. Yeah. out of the plane as a bomb was falling, and it blew up perfectly that the pressure wave slowed him. I he survived. See. He survived. It's a myth. Well, and, and what were the odds of that? But, but you I had better odds. But he was, he was oh, a, a, not in a suit that was weighing like 1,000 pounds, too. Like... <laughs> You have no, you I, have three well, chances to roll a twenty, which is much better well, than what that guy oh, had. That's a lot. You got okay. you got the A team. Okay. You got the A team with the cannon for falling out the sky. Yeah. yeah. The, you know, in the tank. All right. So, all right. I'm just Here we go. That's seven. Now. Want to re-roll? Can I re-roll that? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll that. Every member is facing incredible death right now. Except for Dan, who's just like chilling nope. with the villain. Chilling with the villain. Yeah. It's an 11. Okay. Okay. We on roll yeah. three? Huh? We on roll three right now? No. Oh, you re-roll no, roll I two? I re-roll roll one. That was roll one. Oh, okay, good. 
I thought yeah. I missed it. Go ahead. No, no, no. Okay, so here's roll two. Gotcha. Right. Fourteen. Okay. I'm going to re-roll. What I am going to do? Even he, with the whole powers he has, he has to look at it and make sure. Yeah. Should I save my own life? Maybe. <laughs> All right, fine. Here we go. Nope, that's an eight. Okay. All right, here we are. Roll three. Nope, that's a six. Reroll. Nope, that's four. Oh no. <sighs> okay, so you're hitting the you're hitting the ground at incredible speed. You try to shoot shoot the ground, and and try to do uh, something <laughs> of anything that you Not can bad. do. Gets nice and soft. You come well, that to was kind of part of thinking too. Here you come to the ground. When my hand hits the ground, you will die. Here it comes. You might want to watch it. Here it really? comes. And Splat. all of a sudden, at the last second, you float. And you're like this. Above the ground? Yeah. And behind you. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> I have saved your life. Why? Because I want you to do something for me. Big surprise. Your enemies are coming to destroy, I suppose. Heavy cannon. You're not facing him, and you're like this on the ground. No. Now, now, I want you to roll. We're going to roll inside check. I'll do it anyway. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to roll inside check. If he knows you're doing that, he's just going to kill you. Really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> really? How can he know I'm going to do that? We're going to roll an inside check right now. That's oh, why we oh, have yeah. these things. <laughs> they tell us what's going on. You know what's in my brain. Okay. Roll, roll a. Um, I guess it's gonna be opposing. Insight versus insight. Yeah, roll insight. What'd you get? I have I added him on twenty-four. Re -ro Should we re-roni him? <laughs> yeah. You can if you want to. Yeah, re-roni. Re yeah, one of the two. Smart thing to do would be wait to let him roll, but yeah. I don't care. I rolled even higher, twenty-nine. No! Oh, Damn it. oh man. It doesn't go down because you re-rolled you. No. No. He don't no, have he any no luck. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. That's thirteen. I don't know if I add anything or anything to that. Okay, so you turn, you turn around, you go crazy, and you fire the gun. Yeah. Like this, he goes, no, no, no. What a shame. We could have been on, we could have been temporary allies, natural allies. <laughs> <laughs> but I think okay. you're going to have to die. He throws you a, 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 a tunnel of fire follows you and propels you like a rocket into the shield up into the sky. Oh, no. Wow! He throws you into the shield. You go at max volume, like I said, like a, like a rocket. You may now roll one roll. A twenty is the only way you live. Okay. Otherwise, you die, get crushed into the shield. What's up? He's immune to fire, though, if that helps him. He's going through the shield and getting crushed, and, like, and it's, it's I'm the like, momentum. I'm like a bullet. I'm like a, yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a gnome <laughs> inside a bullet at this point. Right. Like, this time, Damien, one. get that 20. Here we go. I do have one reload left, oh so my God. Like, well, it's kind of fitting this, if, this, I, if I need it. This is the moment. Ooh, 17. No. <sighs> you, have, you, have any, you have any luck? Yeah. Okay, I, I will allow the luck. Sweet. So it's not natural 20. So what's your, how much luck do you have? Three. Oh, okay. okay. So you need a 17 Again. or higher. Nope. 13. Oh. oh. That's it. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. You get burned up out of the suit. The suit uh, crumbles and crashes and crashes down to the floor on the outskirts of the city. Yo-yo is no more. Is no-no. Oh, yo-yo oh. is no-no. Please mail your sheet to Phoenix Studios, <laughs> Staten Island, New York. Okay. So, as you as you're walking, you see him go flying past you. You, cl you clearly can see him, and you see like like something propelled him like crazy going across. You see the whole thing. You see him blow up on the inside of the shield across behind you, across the water, past the docks into the water, blow up. Clearly, he's he's dead. Um. My, yes. The explosion of me and my suit should be quite significant with all the firepower that I have on. Does that do anything to, to the, the shield? Shield or anything D20. nearby it? D20. 
<laughs> 17 or above, and it knocks the shield down. I'll, oh. gi I'll give you that glory. Come on, Yo-Yo. Oh, oh, six. Man. I used re my last reroll. I uh, used it. Andrew, 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 Andrew give me a reroll. I got you, Yo-Yo. All right, here we go. Don't forget to add the luck. 18 yes. plus the luck. Oh, oh we got it. 21. 21 oh, with the luck. Going out with 21. a bag. <laughs> <laughs> so boom, the whole shield goes. Uh. It knocks down. And that is the, the appropriate <laughs> ending for Yo-Yo. All right, Good shields thinking. down. Good thinking. Died a proud gnome. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now you see this, and you can react. You can role play and react to this. No, Yo-Yo. Oh, don't worry, Galinda. You'll be joining him soon enough. <laughs> wow. But that's fine. I'd rather die than watch you rule. That was kind of cool, though. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, is there are there people stuck on the things? Is there chaos in the city? I imagine there might be. So you make your well, we'll not get to that now. Okay. You make your way o over into the city as you're walking closer and closer. You're walking. You're carrying their her in the obviously in the net, and you have no your no patrol with you. Um, you guys are making your way into the city, and you see vampires coming out of the darkness and the rubble of the buildings. They look pissed. And they're just like creeping outwards and they're all like like coming out slowly and you see in the sky like a villain magneto and glowing red is this vampire lord who's wearing this red and golden robe reggie what are we gonna do if this turns sour oh it, it might they seem like uh, things are tense but all of a sudden, you see him go. Stay, stay, go, stay by. You see like a red laser like come out of his hands and go into the ship. And you hear, oh, oh no! And Captain Air Sepper, and the ship ignites and explodes. Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, my lord, it went my lord vampire, I assure you there is no need for any further violence upon us. We've been sent here to aid you against these rogue gnomes you appear on a nearby building and you're standing with Bardo and you can you're within earshot to see them walk up you see what's his name uh, blow up Hex no you see Hex. yo-yo blow you're, up you see Hex blow up you, you, I'm, I'm gonna let you also you see yo-yo so that you're aware of it yo-yo blows up you see the death of yo-yo uh, you see the shield drop you see this um, laser, fire hot laser like light come out of uh, the vampire and destroy the ship. And you see <laughs> Reggie's like this, like, we mean no harm. Like, like trying try to, <laughs> try to get the diplomacy going on. And you see his gnome trolls walking in and dragging an, in a net is Galinda. You have no idea races. Do you, want, do you want to take any action or, or role-play anything? I look to Bardell. He just, he just stands there and just, like, watches. Do you know what's happening here? I do. Tell me what's going on. Your compatriot just died. Another is in the net. One is crawling through the rubble to try to rescue you. But he actually has other plans as well. These gnomes here wish to claim your your title is Gnome Patrol of Rhaegar. And many timelines point to the one here in the middle becoming king of Rhaegar. Although he could be killed. Does Dado know about this? Dado allowed him to come here and said that you may there may be competition. In fairness, the data was on your side. Wait. Dato sent Reggie here to fight against us? No. The one in, the, the one in charge, Reggie, threatened Dato. Threatened to kill him. Dato allowed them to come to Solst to help destroy the vampire's solved situation. 
not to fight you, to, to best you in competition by doing your job for you. But that is not what's happened here. As you can see, Reggie has run chaos around Arcane City, but so did your group. As you can see before, the one in the net there dropped a terrible amount of bombs on this city, destroying it completely almost. <laughs> so I cannot say that <laughs> who is the, the, the more vile enemy to <laughs> so But you're, it is amusing. You're telling me that after we agreed to come here for Dado's benefit, we came here for Dado, you're telling me that Reggie went to Dado and Dado to destroy knew. Dado, yes. And Dado knew that Reggie was going to come here to try to do what we were doing and to try to best us. Dado sent Reggie with his group to help you and say that if they bested you, he would allow fair voting within your city to vote on a king. Okay, you've told me enough. So be it. You know him is very complicated. <laughs> Who cares of such things? Such squabbling. You're free of all that. Who cares of gnome patrol? Why do you want to be a gnome on patrol? I don't want to be anymore. Yes, now you're a gnome who's free of patrol. It's the last episode. Leave. <laughs> Go somewhere else. Go home. Go home. Go home. Whatever happens to Rhaegar will, won't matter. The whole world's about to get involved in all sorts of things with vampires and such. It's about to be a huge war. It's going to take place between these so-called Knights of Andar and the vampires of the world. People will argue and debate about their soul and that it's theirs, and the vampires are trying to take it. A great investigation will go on in, in our light. King Thawin will rally the people and raise a party. In fact, a knight and royal boy named Kadok will lead the charge. He will try to right the wrongs and destroy the evil vampires. More chaos to a world that shouldn't have chaos because it was saved, yes? No. Chaos ensues all the time. It will forever be there. Perhaps you could be the, the bit of light in the darkness, the perpetual light that shows up to stop the, the darkness from completely taking over the world. And perhaps one could argue that the light is needed to do that so that it can continue the yin, the yang. But that's exhausting. It seems like chaos is much more effective. I would say that it is a cycle of chaos and order fighting back and forth forever. My point is that it's without end. This battle will be bloody. More will die before the night is over. And there are a few timelines to say which way it will go. Can we leave? Yes. With Dracinda. Galindo. Who is Crescinda? Um. <laughs> you said Crescinda. <laughs> Wherever she is, I'll save her. <laughs> with, with Galinda. With Galinda. You're using one of your uses, of course, here. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to need to teleport down there and make myself a part of the situation. So, do you wish to come here with me or stay here? I'll go with you. You'll we'll go down. We'll get Dracinda. Galinda. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Who is Dracinda? We'll he is down. saying the name right. He is saying Dracinda. He is saying Dracinda. Like, yeah. We'll go down. Dracinda. Dracinda. No, not no. Dracinda. Galinda. I don't know who that is. <laughs> we'll go down. A dragonborn. We'll get Galinda. And we're gone. Yes, we will need to make contact with her. I need to make contact with a teleporter, of course. And that will only take one second, won't it? Um, it'll take more than that. You got to try to teleport there and make it happen, of course. 
she's surrounded by your gnome patrol. You could ask them to free her. You'll need to get Galinda to our side, or I'll need to get Galinda to next to me to teleport her. Can we teleport right next to her? Into the net? Yes. <laughs> no. I hate nets. This vampire is very dangerous. And it is possible that the gnomes there could be calling, could be holding some sort of green emerald crystals to destroy magic. You see, gnomes are a certain race. So are halflings. They are something quite different than other races, and they are hard to predict in a timeline. And that is true in many planets, many worlds. So, when it comes to you gnomes, I have to be a little bit more careful. So how could we get her? I need to make contact with her. I could teleport away anywhere. You wish to go down. We will talk to them. They don't kill us when we go down there. They talk with us. One likes to talk, and the other one loves to talk. I'll let you guess as who is who. <laughs> 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 he teleports down. We're going to go over to um, Ace. Ace, you crawl uh, down underneath. Eventually, you work your way into the inner sanctum, which has now been unlocked because of all the, dest the destruction, so you can easily get into the room. You see two, sarcoph two, two sarcophagi are opened. No patrol, I'm going to take you out of there for one thing. This two. Uh, two sarcophagi are opened. One has someone in it. The other is empty. One is empty, has the name Bardo on it. Bell, Bell Tillman. Hello? No one answers. I go up to the open one with the random person in it. Okay. There's a figure with blue robes. I like touch him. Anything happening? No. Do I, do I get any vampire senses? Like, oh, you do feel like he's a vampire. Uh, do I feel any way that I feel like I could wake him up? Okay, so if it's a clone, which you know, you know, I will say you know not enough to know that it's be magic. If it's a clone, then the soul must be reconnected with either with power or or its actual soul or something else of significant value. If it is a vampire that is asleep, he requires blood. That is all. If he is uh, to something else that you don't know, then you don't know. Um, being that I just turned into a vampire, do I know if it has to be like a certain type of blood? Do I have blood still? You do because you're corrupted. As the, as the fan play characters will know that you are corrupted, you're still somewhere in between. Okay. Uh, I'll tell then. I don't know. So I'm gonna do a little cut. I'm gonna put it on that vampire. See what happens. Okay. You put it on the vampire. Like in his mouth, so he can drink. You put it in his mouth. Roll d20. Eighteen. The vampire. Goes. <laughs> What more? Um. Okay. I am weak. Do another drop. He opens his eyes. He actually doesn't 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 get up. He's still weak. Hi. Who are you? Uh, I'm Who Ace. Who wakes me? Nice, nice to meet you. Your vampire ship. You are corrupted. Yep. Why did you save me? Why did you wake me? How did you get in the inner sanctum? Uh, I, well, I was looking for my friend. Um, so they brought him down here because he's like they were gonna drain him or something like that. Uh, there's this big evil vampire up above, Hex. I don't know if you know him. Hex. Yeah. Yes, he's the one who put me here. Oh. Uh, he gets up and starts getting out of the sarcophagi. He starts making his way. Could you help me across the room? Uh, sure. What? What's? What's your name? I am Arknum. Oh, like the tower. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I built this tower. Huh? Uh -oh. this, this tower will outlast everyone. Ah. Uh, it's glorious. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to tell you this, Mr. Arknum, sir. Uh, <laughs> well, you have some news for me? 
the tower is bro broken. Ah, uh, something is broken in the tower. We will fix it. The whole, the whole hmm. tower is, is busted the down. The whole, the whole. They just blew it up. The whole tower. Yeah, it's all rubble. I had to crawl through it to get down here. Those bastards. <laughs> Who did this? I don't know. I, there's been crazy outside. There's bombs dropping, and that hex bombs? guy's flying around. Yeah. What is a bomb? Uh, it's like a. I don't really know. We just throw them around places. Yo-Yo knows a lot about bombs. Sounds like gnomish technology. Yeah, well, yeah, we're all gnomes. We're gnome patrol. Oh. <laughs> okay, get me to the side of the room. Uh, okay. He, he takes you over to another sarcophagus guy. He goes, open this, please. Okay, who's in here? Someone that should never have been trapped. You need to give him some of your blood. Okay. Like the same amount? You need to give him a little bit more. You'll be fine. Uh, come on, man. Just give him a little blood. Vigorish, you arise. You see Arknum is there. It's very weak. Arknum. Hi. This gnome saved us. I'm Ace. I don't know what's happening. The tower is destroyed. Bardo is gone. Bardo is gone. Yes. Who's Bardo? A powerful vampire. Uh, well, my friend was down here. Did you guys see him? Uh, you were you woke us both up. Mm, maybe. Why did you wake us? Well, I woke him up. I don't know. I, I was curious about him. And then he told me to wake you up. So here we are. Team Ace. <laughs> Phantom of the morning. Andrew goes. <laughs> Stop reviving <laughs> vampires. <laughs> no! It's Andrew. Ray. <laughs> Andrew, anything you want to say? This is like three this episode. <laughs> this is what it's a sandbox, man. Whatever they want to do, they do. <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> we must get out of here. I don't know what, if Hex is, is above still. Hex. We need to gather our strength. What about this other guy? I go over to one of the other sarcophagus. Looks over. Hadhild. Hadhild is a uh, arch cleric. He was uh, a zealot. Can he help us? Ah. Uh, had held is very risky. That's a clone, also. We can't wake him up. It requires, it requires his soul to be reattached or some sort of magic. Um, I feel it is dangerous to awaken. All right, well, what should we do, guys? I don't know. I came down here for my friend, but he seems to be gone with that other vampire guy, I guess. Huh? Maybe he was awake. You all were sleeping down here? Yes. Hmm. So maybe he woke. Maybe he woke him up. Let us figure our way out of here. We are in no condition to fight. I have no spells. We don't know the state of anything. Well, I, I climbed through rubble, and then when I got down here, they were still exploding things. So. Can you, can you take us back the way you came? We can try, but they just—I think it was blown up more. I don't know if it'll be all caved in. Well, we can try. We could wait here, wait the night and rest. We could feed upon this one a little bit. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Just enough to keep us alive. Yeah, I'm then we fine, could, right? That's okay. And then yeah. I could I could teleport us out of here. You built this whole tower. There's no, like, secret. This is the big secret sanctum. There's nothing going on in here. You don't have any secret passages. This area was built by the Iron Circle, not me. Oh. Uh, You agree with that plan? We're far too weak to go anywhere right now. We will rest. And we will leave. Let's stay here. Okay, I guess. I mean... Do you wish to join our... Yeah, Team Ace? Yeah. This is not Team Ace. Oh, hey. Ooh, woke who up here? Vigorous. 
is a is an arch lord vampire. Yeah, One of the most powerful vampires ever to live. That's why he's a great addition to Team Ace. We will rest. We'll deal with him in the morning. Hey, deal with me. Come on, man. <laughs> you stay with them. Sure. <laughs> the, the best thing you got going on, right? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, everyone's having an interesting uh, departing story. It's like it's like an end ending of uh, a show where everyone goes off and they have a weird life. Okay, we now go back outside to Bardo, who teleports into the center. Hex is flying in the sky. You're next to to, to Bardo, and we'll put everybody within like a hundred feet of each other. And obviously, all other uh, members of the Anti No Patrol are there behind Reggie, and Galinda is in the net. Someone has a lot of background noise. If you could uh, take care of it, please. Um, you can all role play. Go ahead. Hex goes over, and a lot of vampires are coming out of the distance. They're kind of like not surrounding you, so not, they're not close to far away, but they're eventually all could be coming in all, um, all sides of you except the dock side. No, two. What, what's going on here? Would you? Dago be sent me to. You see the man, check up on all of you. the man in the uh, top hat next to him. He has a clock in his hand. Would you please give us that girl in the net, and then we'll be on our way? Well, it will not be that simple, sir. She was our peace offering. Yes. She could be my peace offering. I could kill all of you very quickly, but I only need the girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Reggie Wrangles. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Uh, what business do you have here, sir? I am Bardot, also known as the Clockmaker. Uh, well, this prisoner here is to be turned over you to will the... Give, you will give me the girl. Or I will age your heart so that it dies in seconds. Well, can I just talk to? Can I talk to the? You start to hear a clock in your in your mind. Reggie, oh. I just your heart want... your starts beating a little bit faster. <laughs> I just want Galinda, and we'll be gone. Oh, very well. You've cursed us all. Come here, breeding. Fine, take her. Wait, 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 wait. What is all this? I take the net. Come on, Galinda. Uh, are you sure? Bardo, you don't have any power anymore. What are you doing ruining? This is my city. You shouldn't be here. Who woke you? Never mind who woke me. I'll be leaving. Your city is yours. Enjoy it. Enjoy the rubble. And the younglings will be feasting upon each other in no time. You have, you have Galinda? Where are we going? I whisper into him. I'm going back to my home in the dark. So be it. Good luck killing each other. <laughs> You're gone. Bardot is gone. Glenda is gone. <laughs> and the, Thanks, the, the ticking stops and your heart goes back to normal. <laughs> Vampire for okay? gnomes and suits. What? It's pretty interesting, right? <laughs> or, or, well, everybody, I'm Reggie Wrangles. Now, I've been sent to clear up all this mess. Now, he lands I, on the ground. <sighs> greetings, my lord. I've been sent here. Apparently, there's been a terrible, terrible mistake. Yes. Your airship is parked in the wrong spot. Don't worry. I rectified it. <laughs> and I understand in your... Zeal. Do you wish to join the vampires source? Uh, I'll tell you I'll tell you what. I see four wonderful specimens. How about two of you join and we'll make an alliance? An alliance with what place do you are you from Rhaegar? Yeah, indeed I am. You see the vampires are growing in numbers. We Unknown to many people, have many vampires in many cities, creating guilds. And soon, we'll have people everywhere. 
why not be a part of that by making this alliance with us today? I would call us and Rhaegar a faraway mountain. Natural allies. <laughs> Two of you become vampires and we'll call it a deal. Wow. He came here for diplomacy. It's a right. So, uh, all right. Let me uh, discuss this with my colleagues. Your interesting author. Uh, of course. Thank you. All right. So where's my robe? Um. Okay. So... Boss, if you order me, I'll do it. Oh. Okay. Um. So we've got one. Uh... <laughs> what? What? Well, no, no. There should be none. Well, that would be ideal, but. I'm just afraid that. Uh, here you go. Well, I'm a little afraid. What do you? What? What, uh, what ideas do you have? Let's put it that way. <laughs> we all, we're gonna either die or die. All right. So you wanna fight to die, or you wanna be on your knees and die? So we have. We can fight. Uh, how many vampires are around us? <laughs> so there's vampires in the distance. They seem to be just watching, kind of unknown. They feel like obviously they could attack or not attack. You have right. no idea. Um, the vampire is here. It's just Hex there. His his captains or lieutenants or whatever are not near him. It's just him. He's in his red golden robes. He's sitting there. You can tell he has, has a lot of power on him. He's literally glowing with it. Look, we came here for diplomacy, right? Like clearly, this other group where I think they must have gone mad. Uh, clearly now, the vampires are going to need a sign of good faith. Um, then, as our leader, you go right ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> Charles is like, oh, the only you might be go ahead. <laughs> we've, we, we've got... Can, um, you, can you hear me now? Yes. If, uh, if this guy's going to help me take Del Tuvan down, I'll, I'll go with it. Are you sure? Yeah. That guy killed my brother. These are all you gnomes. Can do, I can take him out. <sighs> He's the brother of of the gnome that you burned with the starship, I think, in season one. <laughs> oh, past come to haunt you. Such a good backstory. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you didn't attack him right there, and you saw him. Too many vampires, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, he was, was next to me. That wasn't going to happen. He, he was next to yeah, he was next to the, the Uber vampire. He wasn't going to go for it right then. Right, smart move. All right, so wait, so we're saying we got two of you could become vampires, and two of us leave here. <laughs> There's no one from No Patrol I, left. Anymore. I don't. I don't think he said we wouldn't be leaving. He just said we'd become vampires. Well, what? we'd be like ambassadors. Yeah. Wow. Maybe he wants to be, you know, part of Gnome Patrol. So he's getting vampires in Gnome Patrol. This adds up. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm not so sure now. There's Again, a lot of that seem to make a lot of it. sense. So, who is volunteering? You don't sound like a no. That's a no. Got one, yeah. two. All right. Okay. So, well, let's go. Well, let's go see what he says. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> Don't you miss Rob? <laughs> this is great. It is with the greatest of pleasure, my lord, that we accept your most magnanimous offer. Excellent. My two colleagues here will gladly please have the two gnomes come out of their suits and come over here, of course. All right. Okay, I'll get out of my suit. <laughs> So you're getting out of your suit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys you guys come over. He turns you around to face your friends. <sighs> he bites. You guys kinda of get kinda of woozy. And uh, you're kind of sitting oh. on the ground and you're a little bit weak. Ugh. That's tingly. It's like I'm hung over. Gnomes do have a very unique taste. What about you? Do you well, wish to become a vampire? Well, now, I was saying we go with the original plan, oh. as you were saying. Uh, so now, we'll go back to Rhaegar, as I will speak to leadership there, and uh, yes, of course, take your friends with you. I wish you luck. 
Thank you. Um, and um, in all of the future, whatever happens, I will make sure that the vampires of Source spare the kingdom of Raymond. We will not cross the water to your place. We will, any lands that belongs to your kingdom, we will stay out of. Of course, sounds... I don't speak for all vampires that don't follow source. I understand. Your, your deal is quite fair. I will report back. A grand alliance has been created between Solst and Rhaegar. Reggie. 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 Yes. How are we getting back? I didn't think of that either. <laughs> Blow up our ship, yeah. We would kindly ask if you would know, uh, could provide or perhaps some transportation for us. Uh, no. No. We'll gather some supplies and just be on our way then. Uh, we'll find them on the road, even. Uh, all right. That's a so, long walk. What? That's a long walk. It's, we'll find it, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> my lord. I bid you good day, and we'll be in touch with the further details of our, our alliance and the benefits that will surely accrue to you. Sure. Um, I'll do you this one part of gift. <laughs> I sent a raven to Rhaegar to let them know to pick you up. Oh. Thank you. That's Thank very you. kind. Yes, I would advise you to go quickly out, out to the edges of the water away from the vampires. The young ones don't know how to control themselves. Very good. All right, let's go. Start watching. Get back in my suit. Get, come on, come on, guys. I'll hit you. I'll like crawl okay. back in my suit. Okay, you guys make your way to the, the shores. Um, he turns around. The two has gone. Start putting putting oh, no, like, has grease and stuff grease inside my suit inside so that no sunlight can get in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanna put you pull you guys out for a second. You see him turn around. Well no one sees him turn around. He turns around. For the people watching at home and the camera, he turns around and flies over to uh, Artem's tower and flies down. You, Arknum, and Ace are there in the inner sanctum. And all of a sudden you hear something coming. Hey, Hex! Vigorous. Arknum. Hex. Did you raise these vampires with your own blood? He looks at your arm. Yeah. Why would you do this? I came down here, I was trying to find Deltuvin for you. These are my mortal enemies. What? Yes. Well, why were they here? Because they were imprisoned here. Oh, that's not, the vampires upstairs didn't tell me that. They just said this was a place that you did like cool rituals and stuff. I thought, I don't know. I don't know who these guys were. Who is Deltuvin? Some sort of gnome who's causing a bit of trouble. Why is he so important to you? He is very powerful. He's absorbed a very powerful crystal. I have already gained yeah. some of its power and I could have gained the rest. But now apparently Bardot has his hands on him, which I'm sure wants the crystal for himself. Uh, that's not good. What do you plan to do without your back? <laughs> Don't laugh. You're very weak right now. I can kill you instantly. My power is ten times since we last met. And you have been sleeping. You could. You and I both know that you won't. Why wouldn't I? Wait, this is the guy that bit you, right? He's like your vampire dad. Something like that. So he's like my vampire grandpa. Something like that. <laughs> Maybe. Hi. Who bit you? 
Mr. Bardo. <gasps> There's like a whole family here. So yes. we don't like great grandpa. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut to the chase here. I don't want to kill you, but I could put you back in there, which I may do. Give me a reason to not put you back. I want you out of Solst immediately, never to return. That's the only deal you're getting. Look over at Orca. Fine by me. want nothing to do with vampire kind. It's a deal. Very good. Tomorrow you're gone. Rest, do what you have to do. And I never want to see you again, ever. The next time we'll be enemies. Drown. Where's, where's that in my head? You're staying here. I created you. Yeah, but he created you. It doesn't matter. Am I supposed to get mad at you one day? Why are you mad at him? You cannot be mad at me. You love me. We'll see, I guess. Come. Where you're, going we go? to help, you're going to help me get dinner. Okay. <sighs> he flies up. With me? No. Just <laughs> well, how, how do I get out of here? I rest. You rest. The day comes. Just to, just to wrap this up. Do you leave? The next day? I leave with Arkham, yeah. And what do you do? Is there a way for me to get out? Yeah, yeah, there's a way to get out the Okay, door. yeah, I'll just go, I'll go up top. Okay, so you, you stay with him? Yeah. Okay. She <laughs> don't care where you stay with, you just like, whatever. Whoever you guys stay with. Okay, so an airship comes and picks up... I don't have that music. Do I do it? Yeah. Uh, an airship comes and picks up um, you and your team and brings you back to Rhaegar. <laughs> you get back to Rhaegar, and you guys arrive, and you're walking into the um, throne room with the big clock and such. And everyone, you're gonna be playing advisors, just in the room, to King Dado. I want you to be impartial just whatever you think. Like start start a fresh, clean slate. You can take them as it is. Uh, you can decide if you're on one's on Dato's side or another. Like that. It's up to you. Um, you enter. Your gnomes. Yes, you're all gnomes. The collector's um, priest is with you. Oh no, he's dead. Wait, <laughs> who killed yeah. him? How? He died in the airship. Oh, on the ship would have blown. Yeah. There goes that. Oh man, that's that's not gonna look good. Well, that is not gonna look <laughs> that's good not at all. Look good. <laughs> I thought he had it until this very moment. I was like, oh, <laughs> right, that was. So that it may, was you'd have you have really got to pull this one out. And just you know, here I'm gonna let you know this now. As we end this episode, everyone here at the table, and the fans on stream, not the fans because they're on your side. The fans on stream are going to cast the vote if you make a play to be king. I don't know if you're going to go into it. I imagine you want to. Um, of course. Yeah, whatever. Um, they will vote. You're Rob. You're going to do it. Very similar to when Arky became mayor, the fans will decide if Dato remains king or if, if you become king. <laughs> Andrew says we can spin this. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll bring them in. So you walk into the throne room. Here's your uh, your three lieutenants with you, and uh, we're gonna have to say that Richard uh, died and stayed at the airship, and he roasted the airship. Oh, no. uh, oh rip Richard! Oh. He's, not here. Oh. He's, he's in the steam suit. He's immune to fire. No, he's dead. <laughs> he's at the bottom of the ocean. He's, he's, not, he's not immune to red laser. <laughs> <laughs> A laser. Fire the laser. Okay, you walk in. Data is there. Welcome. How did it go? Where is Gnome Patrol? Gnome Patrol stands before you. 
covered in success. I don't see them. Right here. We yeah. are no patrol, is what I was saying. Did yeah, you the, other guys, the other guy's defected. Where is the where is the collector's priest? Yeah, about that. He he pulled up along with the ship. The, yes, there was terrible violence, unfortunately. Uh, but it appears that Gnome Patrol, the original Gnome Patrol, went mad. When we approached Souls, they were flying their airship over the city, dropping bombs indiscriminately, <laughs> killing whoever were below. When we made contact, they attacked us. Yeah. They were destroying the city? They were. I thought they were there to fix the shield. Is the shield repaired? No, they broke it. Well, the shield was up when we got there, but what? then it kind of fell down. It, it was, was Yo-Yo. in the big suit. In his last action, <laughs> he destroyed. Yo-Yo is dead? Yo-Yo died. Blaze in his glow. last action, he destroyed the shield. <gasps> this makes me sad. Yo-Yo ripped my head off. Well, now Yo-Yo everything is here, bro. Prone to violence. So I'm not surprised to hear that. Although I remember that. I think. <laughs> you were there. I am very sad. <laughs> Um, yes. what, is the, uh, what is the outcome with Solst? Well, we were supposed to repair their shields and make allies of them. Yes. Well, unfortunately, success due to... Success and success. Yes. The shield will be operational soon once, you know, it was repaired and then uh, damaged again. And, of course, the alliance has been secured. Rhaegar's... Territorial integrity is guaranteed forever. You see, the, see, um, the collector's priests are talking to each other. They're mur- like mumbling to each other. And one of them walks over to Dado and whispers into his ear. Really? How do you know? The priests are something, something very interesting. In two of your allies. Uh oh. Has something happened? Indeed, many things have happened. In, in order to be the ambassador to both gnomes and vampires, we, to garner this new alliance, we became vampires as well. They became, you are all vampires. They became vampires, it is true. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. Oh, no, no. <laughs> wow. This was done in the name of peace. Yes. You are vampires. I am not a vampire for oh, peace. They are vampires. Yes. I'm just a simple no. Why did you make this deal? Do we have to become vampires? Why did I make this deal to guarantee the safety of every gnome in Andaria? For the promise of a bright future for every child born. That is why. There is no price that no patrol will not pay for the kingdom. Could you tell me how the how No Patrol died? Uh, yes. Well, we, we only saw the one die. We only saw the one. Yeah, Galinda got away. Uh, but Yo Yo exploded. What do you mean Galinda got away from you? Yes. Well, after we stopped her from massacring uh, civilians, um, we well, she was taken away by Bardo. We, we took her as a, a prisoner, and then... We had her as a prisoner, of course, because she had attacked our soon-to-be allies. And then Bardo and Doltuvin, the great traitor, absconded with her. No doubt. We've been planning. We're going to... Hold on one second. You teleported away. Do you go home to Ray to Rhaegar? I mean, technically, he teleported me to the dark with him. Right. Yes, he did. But I'm you don't live. Du- I'm you don't... from the dark. Oh, you are from the dark. Yeah. So do you want to? Do you want to stay there, or do you want to go back to Rhaegar? If you go back, you would be there now. If you if you stay there, you're out of the quest, of course. Can yeah, we? You are. Can we role play that decision? Sure. Okay. okay. So we're gonna put you on pause right now. <laughs> so I'm basically got my doorstep right. Your own, I mean, at home, like yes, in the like dark. My house, and, 
Just okay. So a little picket fence. So Bardo, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I, mean, I prepared to play this out, but let's do it. <sighs> there you go. Two more times you may call upon me, I will help you. And then our deal is complete. Thank you for saving me. You are welcome. I've been enjoying our alliance so far. Sure. Just out of my own curiosity, what do you plan on doing from here? <sighs> I'm not sure. I've not decided. <clears throat> I wanted much more before. Now I feel that... It must stick around the dark a bit. Mm. Interesting place. It is. <sighs> Charles is like, no, get out. <laughs> you want to go to Charles's house, small dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, come to do's. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't decided. Perhaps a bit of traveling for myself as well. Well, maybe I will see you again, and maybe I won't. Maybe. Do you require anything else of me? I'll, no. let, I'll let you talk and figure it out. <clears throat> then I'll be gone. He walks, he walks off, looks around. How are you, Galinda? Quite shaken up by Yo-Yo's death, the loss of my suit, and having to face that awful Reggie again. Listen. I'm going to stay here in the dark for a while. I'm not going back to Rhaegar. You know why Reggie was there? I do. You do? I assume it was set for him to, to do something awful. Linda Dato sent him there. What? Yeah. That guy? His name is Bardo. He's a vampire. He can see all across different timelines. I don't know. But Reggie went to Dato. Apparently, Reggie challenged his legitimacy to the throne. And, uh, and, and Dato's and, response was to send him to us? Yes. And Dato said, Go to Solst. If you can help no patrol secure this alliance with Solst that he would allow Reggie to, I don't know, have some kind, some kind of election for the throne of Rhaegar. I don't have to remind you all the stuff that Reggie put us through, all the chaos that he introduced. And after I knew, or I suspected, that someone in Solst wanted to take the crystal from me, and I went there anyway to help Dato. Dato still sent Reggie in after us. I'm not going back to Dato. There's no more no patrol. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know for now I'm gonna rest up, try and discover what all my strengths are. But one of these days, I'm gonna go after Dato. Not I, Reggie? Maybe Reggie. <laughs> I think... I think maybe... Maybe you might want to go after Reggie one of these days. Well, I'd need a new suit. Perhaps I'll go and visit our friend Swoot back at the guild. Um, Bardo comes over and sits down by a rock. You see, you see um, we'll say uh, there's a fire lit. That's why you're hearing the fire. We'll say that you lit it. <laughs> you did it. Um, he sits down. He puts his hand over the fire. It's funny how it doesn't even matter anymore. You can't feel it. So your friend right now, Reggie? Not he, our friend. Well, your acquaintance is making a play for King. I can tell you this. If you travel there, it greatly decreases his chances of winning. 
Or we can let him have it. What do you care? I, I don't. At this point, if Gato des like, deserted us and betrayed us, Reggie's betrayed us, at the, who cares who's in charge at this point? I find myself constantly getting, getting involved in my mind in, in gnomish politics, but I don't believe t t your king betrayed you. Galinda, when I came up from the dark, I wanted to join Gnome Patrol just to help Andaria. And what did they tell us? They told us we had to join a competition for the right to do that, for the right to give up our lives and devote our lives to help the world. We did it anyway. And then finally, when we reformed No Patrol, we went out. And what happened when we went to Queensland? The Chancellor manipulated us to do what he wanted. He made us attack the orcs. We went to the Silver City. And Fraun wanted to manipulate us, too. Then we went back to Rhaegar. And Dato did what he did. All we ever wanted to do was help people. But yeah. no one let us do that. Dato's gonna lose the throne that's on him. I, I agree. I'd rather be back with Swoosh. If I go there with no suit and no protection, Reggie is just awful enough to kill me on sight. I'm telling you this now. I don't like what Dato did. I'm going after him one of these days. Well, should I get a nice, comfortable, powerful suit? I will be stabbing Reggie in the back one of these days as well. <laughs> Tough words from small gnomes. Well, I might, it looks like you're staying here, I, I suspect. Or am I taking you to your friend? You take me to Smooch. Sure. That's a freebie. Thank you. Let's go. Good Call luck to you, Galtuvin. Call me if you need me. Um, hmm. So it says a couple of words to you. Keep these ravens in the cage. Release them when you want to call me. How do they do that? Okay. Where does he get those wonderful <laughs> ravens? Magician. Tell Swoosh I said hi, Galinda. Will do. Silver City? Good day to you. <laughs> and that's where we leave all two of them. And we go back. Rob's excited right now because Rob has it. <laughs> we go back to Rob. Everyone, we have spoken about what has taken place. Apparently, the other gnomes were unsuccessful and were attacking the city. It is hard to say what exactly has happened. I have done much for the gnomes of Rhaegar in our kingdom. I have set up many trade routes. Gnome Patrol was successful in bringing on board the Silver City. Swoosh is there right now. And the last surviving member of Gnome Patrol it seems to be. I would say that I could do many great things. I believe it is fair to humbly offer, since there is much turmoil amongst gnomes, an election. You may choose between me or Reggie. It is your choice. I do not know what else I can say to let you know that I will do a good job, but I would always be fair, honest, and do everything I can to help gnomekind. I understand that many of you do not like that I am not a gnome. But do know this, I was a gnome, and my spirit and my soul is of gnome kind. And I only wish to do the best for Rhaegar. That is all I have to say. Reggie, if you wish to speak. Thank you, Dato, everyone. Dato says all he's ever wanted to do was help gnome kind. If I had not come, I'd insist that I follow gnome patrol. 
you would be at war with Solst this very moment. No one patrols clumsy actions in Queensland result in potentially another enemy to our south. NATO tells you of trade routes. Very well, he set up some trade routes, I'll admit. But is that really what this is all about? For many years, no Mishkind has fought and struggled. We may not have been the largest of peoples, but we always fought the hardest. And we always thought most clearly. And our inventions and our creations elevated us to heights far beyond those that any could have ever predicted. Dato says he was a nomad indeed. He was. Now, he has changed. I do not judge him negatively for it, but does he truly understand the heart of a gnome? Today, I think not. No, I knew I had to come and set things right. Behold, our new gnome patrol, half have made the ultimate sacrifice for you, giving up basic gnome kind to seal the safety of you, your children, and all of your descendants. If you make me your king, I will not really set up trade routes and go around potentially starting wars. No, I will let each and every one of you see and realize that you truly run this kingdom. As your king, I will not be a boss ordering you around. I will be a vessel for each and every one of your hopes and dreams. Elect me. And I will show you a glorious future for no kind. Thank you. Okay, so on, on both sides, we have Again, the populace is split in the middle between they believe Dato is not a gnome. Yes, he was a gnome, but he's not a gnome now. He doesn't represent what they are. It bothers them. And like kind of kind of what Chandra what Rob was saying, that he set up trade routes and such, and he's good with diplomacy, but do they need more than that? On the other side, people want a gnome. And Reggie could be the answer. And he was a member of Gnome Patrol. Not in good lights with his allies, but they don't really, no one really knows that story and that side of him. Uh, he's backed by two strong uh, Nomish families, which is the point of what, why they're doing that. And from himself, uh, related to D.B. Dangles, the politician. <laughs> yes. So. He's related to D.B. Dangles. <laughs> I forgot about that. Famous judge. Yes. Um, but also, two of your members are vampires. And the citizens see that. And there is a thought of, are they going to make us vampires? Are vampires are living amongst us? Are they staying with us? He just touted those people as being the new no patrol. The new no patrol is half vampire. And we're talking about being gnomes. And you brought, you bring, you brought a vampire in to Rhaegar. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if this, if this election that we're about to have right now on the show is about the soul of Rhaegar. I wonder. I wonder. And there is a good and bad about both. Is vampires on one side? Does that mean the vampires are in the future? Is that an alliance we want to make? Do you side with evil? Or is is are we saving lives? That's what Reggie would say, I'm sure. Dado, you get something very different. Dado may not be the one that's going to lead you to war. He's not going to. He's not going to pull out and try to do his great deeds. But also, he has no ego. You know, he wants the best. 
but will you get what you want from data? These are all the decisions that you, the citizens of Rhaegar, must make. And now implore all of you to vote. You will vote Reggie, or you will vote with data. Fans at home, everyone gets a vote, including everyone at this table, besides myself, besides Reggie. The four of you, uh, no one patrol over here, you will not be able to vote because you are biased. Everyone Excuse else, me. yes, it's three. I was gonna roll. <laughs> Every, everyone else at home, you may now vote on who you believe should be the next king of Rhaegar. Are we doing secret ballot? You may vote now. Yes, we can do secret ballot. If you want to... Oh, we should just say it. No, we just... Yeah. Does it have to be secret? It's more dramatic. I don't know. So Tony could it's reveal to them all However in one dramatic moment. Like Survivor, yeah, he pulls I it out of so. the thing. However he wants to do it. What? I don't know. How about uh, do this? Mouth, uh, mouth the, um, the name to me. Who am I voting as? You can, vote, you can vote as... Just don't vote as your character. Right. Take your own character. Average, no. Every character you have in this, in this world, take it out. Yeah, new gnome. Random gnome? Yeah, you can decide no, what eight. you think. Oh, yeah. can I be Grover <laughs> again? <laughs> I would say no, don't be Grover because that puts you into a bias thing. Just be a gnome. Okay, just mouth to me quickly. Okay, the votes are in for the table. We're now gonna start going through. Guys, this is the time to vote. Put it in your votes now. I could say it out, wanna do wanna, wanna, wanna do calls. Uh, Dan, you're on, uh, you're gonna be on... Um, tally duty? Tally duty, yes. Ready? Here we go. At this table, here is your next American Idol. Yeah. At this table, we have two votes for Reggie, two votes for Dado. <laughs> we are now gonna go through the fans. The fans will decide the next Nomish Idol. <laughs> here <it> comes. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this is for Dado. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ink Squidler. Yeah, D. Dado. Plus one to D. Damn, Reggie Wrangles, maybe <laughs> he's starting to type. Ink, Ink Squidler, <laughs> please, please confirm Damn. that that's Dado. Plus one to D. You know, I'm not gonna count that vote yet. Let me know. Oh, he put. He says on the. He says on the bottom. Oh no, that's not him. Someone else would look very similar. Some of these are bots. Too. Are you voting with two different names? <laughs> Inkling, you can't do that. Don't do that. He's trying to vote for two different names. Vote for Fred. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ink Ink is one vote. I'm gonna assume Inkling of a kind is also Ink Squidler. Um <laughs> Rain Wright says Dado. <laughs> Michael Aldridge says Dado. What? Whoa, come on guys. <laughs> I mean Todd Heaney says Dado. Dado. They know what? what they know wow. what the is. How could you be surprised? Gnome Patrol just killed everybody. Yeah. No, it's just personal. Jonathan animus. Willis says Dado. Wow. <laughs> He's secretly hiding. He's not reading the Reggie votes first. <laughs> I'm just skipping all the Reggie votes. <laughs> He's gonna read them later. Right. Trade drama. Saren Forrest says Dado. What? These people aren't thinking as gnomes. No, that's the that's what I was. Oh, we're gonna be here we go. Reggie's, oh, relax. Reggie's just... already getting his twist, all he's twisted up. Or Evan says Reggie. That's mm. right. There's Captain Evil. <laughs> Evan's a gnome. Right, he's the original gnome patrol yeah. inspiration. 
Chuck says Dado. Inkling McKay says he don't know who Ink is. <laughs> sure, sure. And then there's Inklings. Ink Squidler. He's just okay. an inkling of a kind. Okay, so inkling of a kind, it says Dado. It could be two separate people. Possible. It's just coincidence. There's too many squids going on. Okay, guys. Very opposite. Now, <laughs> what is the, the final tally? The final tally is nine to three in favor of Dado. So the election goes on. This is gonna we're gonna have a little fun with this really quick. The election goes on. It's nine to three. You know that it's it's pretty basically nine you know nine hundred to three hundred or nine thousand three thousand whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to have votes be swapped, <laughs> but. It's at the risk of your reputation. <laughs> if you lose, you get caught. Oh, he's manipulating the votes. Yes. Oh. It's the Mots. Right. And that's exactly what it is. The Mots and the Wienertons are going to be manipulating the votes. But if you fail, it all leads back to you, and you get caught, and you lose everything. <laughs> now, 9 to 3 is the vote. So you will need to get it. Oh, Everyone you win... We'll bring it down and up one. So if you if you, if you could swap three, three it's then it's a tie. Mm -hmm. All right. Or you could, you could let it go and at least you have your good standing and reputation and let it be. Oh, graciously accept the results. <laughs> oh, graciously accept the results. Yes. Okay. You can at least make it a little less embarrassing. How about this? If <laughs> if he does Not embarrassing. graciously accept the results, does he have to make a concession speech? Yes. To date? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what goes into this vote? Just out of curiosity, when you say, "What do you mean? What goes into vote? Sway the voting? What is? What, what, what? They're You're paying wrong. off people in the background. You're manipulating. Counts. Just imagine real life manipulating the votes, and this was happening. And there's going to be a, a cheating. There's going to be a percentage of it succeeding or failing. You're, there's there's going to be a roll, and that's going to be determined by these things. You're going you're to do a roll, which I will reveal after. Oh, we have to decide first. The, um, yeah. Okay, the, uh, remember the how much money these Mots got. They do. The Mots have a lot of money, and the Wienertons have a lot of money. That's the They're, whole point. That's why this is possible. And We're, we have vampires to intimidate if you're going to uh, go that route. Rob, true, if, you, if, if you don't you win this, the vampires you're to still intimidate, I'll control. give you a plus. Wait, what? That should Good. be a negative. No, it means that it's not. They're not on, on a peaceful uh, <laughs> diplomatic campaign. They're threatening people. Use the vampires. But remember, if anything he does up to the point, if he succeeds, it succeeds, and fails, all of it comes out. <laughs> okay. Do it, do it, do it. I just you, the you can still just be people the with leader no patrol. Board, no patrol, like against Reggie. If oh, it's like no. The, the point is that, house, that he don't know? go to like the commoner. He goes to like a rich guy and says, "You better get these people to vote." Blah blah blah. This guy, he's, he's too he's too pure. He don't understand. It's like the mob comes ringing on your door. You better vote this way. It's holding them very right. subtly. You, What's you the mob? All right. You win next year. The, uh, uh, so what, what What do my fellow no patrol? We've got one. Charles, you're saying don't fix the vote. Andrew, I have, I'm... I have a role. I mean, <laughs> if you don't be king, you still just be leader of no patrol. It's still... Still you know. could be, be satisfied with that. That's right. Yeah, you, would, you would lose your position of no patrol. But you're about to lose... King, King of Rhaegar. And of course, only the first thing we'll do, first law is go get into Tuvin. So, I assume you want us to go for the kingship. I, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Personally, don't I, I don't think it's a good <coughs> idea to uh, to try to intimidate people with vampires. You don't have I, to use the vampires, but if you do, I, I'll I will, give you a bonus. I will do it if you ask me to, but I mean, like, he's against it. It could affect their alliance, you're, too. You're starting to get hungry, Oni. You got to, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, huh. I'm going to have to say that you have to roll a 13 or higher on D20s. If the vamp, if you use a vampire, I'll give you a plus four to your roll. And 
to nine so, plus. That means you're using both vampires. And I have to just sway three, swaying three votes would make it a tie. Is that how it would make it a tie? Sense? Go four. Or you want to prove to everyone that everyone loves you, you go all the way, of course. <laughs> That's what I would do. Okay, don't do that. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> all it takes is one screw up. Oh my god, 100% of the vote. Look, oh god, 100%. Wow. Everyone loves me. I hate you. No, no, you voted for me. You love me. <laughs> um, Our rerolls allowed. Oh, oh, oh. Are we rolls allowed? No, uh, I forgot that could go either way. That's what they yeah, can. I was, I was can. still thinking about everyone who could support me, and then I was like, wait a second. Well, you don't have any of that. You? I'll eat. Yeah, that's, that's, you know what? That's true. I'm going to let you decide if your rolls are allowed. Because people would throw them all against you, or you could use them for yourself. Yeah, I, I, it's, I, it's probably a wash either way. I know. I, it probably just. You probably should just say they're not in there because it's only going to be good say, or bad. So the question is now, one vote, <laughs> one roll. If it's every time, every time you win, you flip a vote Anyways. on both sides of that. So nine and three goes from eight to four, seven to five, six to six. And how many times do I have to lose to get caught? Once. Once. So I got to make four straight rolls to, to win. To win. Or you could right. stop after the way and make it close and say, "Oh no, I, you know, I lost," and make it like a better loss. But yeah, if you want to tie, you need to, you need to, you need to get to the tie. Do Evans two still work on his rolls? It's the plus two. Or no, no, that was, that was not, for the fight. That was That's attacks. fighting only. That was he specified yeah. for the fight. This um, is a different. He's attacking the vote. <laughs> wow, wow. wow. He's attacking that vote. Nice stretch. <laughs> All right. Listen, Senator. Pushing it. <laughs> All right. At the end. Of the counting, Reggie Wrangles goes to the podium and addresses the crowd. You giving up? Well, that's what happens. But now, a week ago, he was in town. <laughs> Time jump, quick, backwards. You're going to pass up the kingship? You have everything to gain here. It's risky, but yeah, but me, like. You're right. No, don't let me well, get you, dude, I, I'm surprised. I'm shocked. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. I'm just surprised. I, I can't believe that Gnome Patrol would be enough. Why? You could be King King and Gnome Patrol. It's everything you've ever wanted in one chance. After all, if does, Dado does, keeps you as Gnome Patrol. Does Reggie really want Gnome Patrol? Or were his sights always set just a little higher than everyone else? It was it. I mean, it was... But you're Think the about how Rob, they're getting in your head. But now, you, but now you're the head of Gnome Patrol. You a tarnished, can a tarnished you institution. Want. You're on the season. Gnome you're Patrol in the. You're on the nothing. series finale of Gnome Patrol. There's no more Gnome Patrol after this. That's it. This is the last thing. If you, you, if, you if you want to end it as as the leader of Gnome Patrol, you got it. If you want to end it on King, and that means every story where we go back to Rhaegar, you're king forever. You're not king for just tomorrow. You're king for the next quest and the next quest and the next quest. <laughs> It's always King Reggie. Unless the story changes. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Damien's, Damien's like, unless you know my next Reggie character, is no side How are you going to say it's forever? The story may try to change, but he's king. Okay. Until he does. Approaches the crowd and announces the results, which include intimidation. And all that. <laughs> Roll number one. Oh, Wait, wet, uh, vampires? With vampires, gotta go full yeah. intimidation oh, mode. Man, so, so now let's, 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 so now let's, let's, let's review. He needs to roll above so a, a nine. A nine. 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 The, the vampires are a huge bonus. A nine or higher four times in a row. And you, mm, but right. you are, you are, uh, what's the bonus for the vampires? Four. So he needs a, he needs a 13. So he needs a nine or more to roll because. Yeah. And if he rolls, four. if he adds the vampires, it just means that like if he loses, it comes out that he's making the vampires force people. So. Oh, so but but he needs. So he a needs a nine. A natural nine. He's a nine. Or better. Yeah. Or better. Right. Natural nine. Four this nines in a row. Oh, better man. than flipping coin. And there's no there's no rerolls. <laughs> no, it's not for me. We're better than half. Yeah, yeah, nine. For four times in a row. Yeah. Well, it's it's better, like flipping, than better than flipping a coin four times yeah. in a row. Yes. All right, that's a good point. Okay. <laughs> So, no reroll? No reroll. No, no re -roll. Re -roll. So first you can stop oh. at three, too, if you get too nervous. Just yeah. make it a tie. Three, make it a tie? Three a tie, four a win? not getting yes. three. Three, three. Uh, three times, that's not that bad. Tie breaker's uncertain, too. The yeah, procedure. you can... 
If it's a tie, I'm, I'm sure there's got to be some kind Procedures. of... Procedures. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, let's see how well, it goes. Let's see what happens. So first, south side of town. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> 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 what's the roll? What's the roll? Six. <laughs> Come on, Rob. <laughs> oh man, I knew it. I saw like a collector's priest. I'm, I'm a, Dan. I'm gonna let you be the collector's priest, and you have some bad news to tell everybody. You just found out what's going on. You know what everything involves. Go ahead. What? Uh, what species am I? You're a gnome. I'm a gnome. Yeah. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. Fellow citizens of Rhaegar. <laughs> you can, you want to say, roll the 20. If you want to roll the 20, you can kill the priest <laughs> who finds out. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> oh, you God. might as well go for it. <laughs> I'll allow rerolls too, guys. A one? <laughs> no, it's a seven. Here we go. God. He's going down. Imagine he gets no. it. Oh. 17. <laughs> As you're up in the post somewhere. Wait, <laughs> does he get his luck? He got luck. He luck. He luck. Him to a 20. Do you have three luck? Yes. yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You go up to make a speech, and all of a sudden, it walks by and you, and you stand. Oh, no! It's, pandem oh. it's pandemonium. People don't know what happened. They don't know what's going on. Okay. So that wow. particular bit, so that, that, never, that, that role never happened. Right? What? That bit of chicanery didn't get caught. It wasn't successful either. Yes. Now going forward. So now I got to decide if I want to take the risk. Now, now people are on edge because now priests are being murdered. <laughs> <laughs> priests are getting knifed when they're about to make statements oh, about the election. Man, now, now, now it's going to be ten or higher because okay. people are a little r rattled. <laughs> Don't do it. It's getting crazy. <laughs> Still my reroll number one. Done. Ten. Ten. Holy <laughs> shit! Wait. Slain so now it's notes. wait. So now it is. <laughs> seven to four. I'm adjusting my oh. tally. It is seven to I four. It was, eight to it was nine to three. Now it's it was nine to something. Nine to three. It was nine to three, but so now it's eight, eight to four. Oh, I'm eight sorry. To, yes, eight, eight to four. Eight to right. four. Yes, yeah. you're right. You're right. Eight to four. Okay. So you've murdered a collector's priest. You've intimidated people <laughs> with vampires, and you've manipulated votes. But, it's yeah. already happened. And bribes. It's eight to four. And bribes. And bribes. And bribes. Eight, eight to four. Is that all bad? Not all bad. Please uh, include bribes. Some people just like, here. Okay. Next guy. Powerful man. Oh. Sir. Vote for me or die. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect any priest to save you. I'm having so much fun. Okay, so uh, seven, seven, no, what is it? Seven, it is seven to five. Seven to five. Rob. Oh, my God. Can you roll over here so I can see? There you go. No! no! An eight, right? Was it an eight? Yes, it's an eight. Ah. It's a borderline. A collector's priest comes up <laughs> to make a speech. <laughs> now, wait, now, I'll, I'll, if you want to try to kill him, you can. What, are they having bodyguards now because the last time? No, no, no. No, nothing like that, Rob. You could try to kill him, but it's you who has to do the job. Yeah. And for a penny. If, right. So if you get caught, <laughs> right? In for a penny. Well, no, no, that's I, I couldn't. Bring, in front of bring penny? myself to do that. <laughs> penny? In for a penny. In for a penny. Oh, in, in for a, a penny. It just said in front of penny. It goes who's penny? I'm penny. In front of penny. In front of this dog. This okay. puppy. So my normal assassin is busy. No, they won't do it anymore because they got. They're it's like, too oh, hot. it's getting too, it's too hot. hot. It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. So if 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 you myself. if you fail, you get caught. Twenty. Yeah, you need it's twenty. Like my three. Uh-huh. No, re -roll, just re -roll. short. Reroll, I have one. Reroll. Oh, re -roll. This is it. Oh, no. no. 17. He's caught. Oh, three. He's caught. Citizens. Tell us what happens, and then even even roll, take us through the attempt uh, attempted assassination, who gets caught red-handed in front of everybody. Go through everything. Don't miss anything. <laughs> Did he roll yeah, Davian. everything? Davian, it's, it's, it's your show. Citizens of Rhaegar, citizens. An important announcement it has come to light that there have been several, several transgressions uh, committed by Rhaegar, uh, by, by Reggie and, and his and his uh, crew uh, regarding this, this this election. There has been uh, bribery 
intimidation by the vampires. They've used um, their their um, their influence in society through uh, for money and, 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 and their power to, to influence the votes. They, there was cheating, manipulation, voting, not to mention the uh, assassination <laughs> of uh, fellow uh, council members Collect and priest. collectors priests. Uh, <clears throat> and not to mention your own assassination attempt. <laughs> and an attempt was made on my life just recently. And no, just he's right been, now. He's, he's, you he's, see him over there. Right yeah. The guards, they have him right now. He's been apprehended. Here he is. This has been blatant uh, uh, acts of treason and, 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 and an attempt to steal this election unfairly, unjustly. Uh, and, and he's been caught red handed. Uh, the, the truth has now come out. This, this is it. This election is, 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 is nil. Okay? The, 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 you have to go back to the original count, the original votes. Uh, What's the original vote? vote? What is oh. it? Who won? All right, so it's a seven to five. It was that. Quiet, you. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> it was clearly nine to three. Seven to five. For Dato. <laughs> Dato will be king. The vote is counted. Reggie, speak, speak for yourself. What do you have to say? These are the most baseless of accusations I've ever heard. You've been caught red-handed. <laughs> 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 I feel like pointing the gun and shooting at everything. Because the reason I say that is not that I did not try and kill him, but that he is the one who was fixing the vote. Is that true? <laughs> it is Why true. Yeah, get him. <laughs> The priests are outside observers. Everyone knows that. Yes. What do you talking about? They were about? outside observers this, this, this. until Dato came and corrupted them. Gods, take him away. Did, did you kill that other priest that went with you? What priest? You just sent the priest with you when you went to Solst. You killed him too, didn't you? No. Murderer. No. Well, no. Well, he changed no. two of his members Murderer. to the vampires. Murderer. All right, I did not kill that priest. Oh, not that priest! But you killed that priest! But you tried to kill that priest! So you killed the other one! I didn't kill that priest! You killed the other one, didn't you? You brought vampires to the city! Alright, that was the only way to seal the alliance! Alright, I had to do what was necessary! Alright, people were not thinking clearly! I had now, to do what now, was necessary to save from after this. The they set, they set up Archifit to be murdered and Bellamar to be murdered. Even the fair princess. Take him How away. Just, this cannot stand. <laughs> Take him away. You're entitled, but it's going to jail. <laughs> Murderer. Uh, they, they, throw, yes. they take you away. They throw you in the jail. Everyone, I want to say thank you for voting for me. And I'm sorry about what happened. I assure what? you that I will represent you the best that I can for all gnome kind. And also, I'm officially announcing that we are not having any sort of alliance with the vampires. And in fact, we will stand with our light and anyone else who will rise against the vampires. Anyone who, who is vampire who's agreed with them, especially the two members of Gnome Patrol, are banned from Rhaegar. Is there any way to... Fix them? I do not know of any way to fi fix vampirism. It is not something I am skilled at. But I will be your leader once again and your king. Wise words, gr your grace. Thank uh, you all for hooray, voting. King Dato. Thank you. Thank you. 9-3 is not bad. You, you, won, you won the popular vote. He's still not a no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are at the very end of our episode. This was a fantastic, a fantastic season. We're going to end on two fun things. One fun thing, and then we're going to end on a question. The first, the fun thing as we end. There's going to be no after show today, guys, because we're already we're late. Um, Gallon. I want Gallon <laughs> to make a Super Zero reporter result <laughs> like you would at the end of Super Zeros. <laughs> the villain has been caught. Who's... <laughs> Reggie? Reggie. Reggie. You're reporting to Data. Oh, well, you're, you're, you're reporting to everyone. To everyone. <laughs> Next day, people wake up and they, they read the paper. This is what they're going to hear. <clears throat> and I want to hear some O'Tonys in there. 
Oh, Dato. Oh, Dato. Okay. Oh, 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 Dato. Oh, <laughs> okay. For all of those of you that are not familiar, there's our other show, a mini game show with Super Zeros, where Dan is the reporter. So Gallon is the reporter. Dan is here. It all works out. <laughs> this is the report that, that comes in the morning. We're going to witness it right now. Dan is doing his notes. It's funny because I've seen Dan do these notes before, and then when he was doing it, I watched his notes, and they didn't even correspond. They might as well have been like his grocery list. So I don't understand what he's writing it's a down. mental preparation. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's like eggs, chicken, milk. It's Here apples. I go. Here we go. Yeah, apples. I'm so ready. Now, is this gallon, for... gallon doing the accent of <clears throat> Super oh Zeros? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is Gallon doing it. <laughs> Don't make it too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I need layers to this role. It's, How many this, accents this, is he doing? This is, this, is a, this is a gnome ending. It needs to be complicated. <laughs> By the way, this might be my favorite series finale out of all the series. And this I loved fun. I loved all of them. I had you know I have things I love about each one. This was my favorite. Rob, you definitely made it my favorite. Thank you so much for coming today. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah Rob, we Thanks for being here, Rob. Yes. <sighs> you, were, you, were, you were so much fun to have back. Your joy, buddy. <laughs> As Dan's getting ready, guys, we'll say thank you for watching this episode. Uh, we're we're going to end it with Dan, and then we're going to end it with a question. Uh, can can we say the... Uh, food review for Halibrand and Eastwatch. Oh yes, <laughs> the fan. If the fans uh, yesterday on the fan show went to Halibrand and they uh, rolled for the food. Go ahead, you can say what the say what, yes. what it was. Halibrand was ninety six. Wow! Oh, Amazing. we can say where I'm going. Eastwatch. Halibrand ninety nine. What? Wow. Yep. 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 Oh my god. Oh, the, go on those red cities have some good food. food. Yeah, we were saying that, that food goes to the slums. The wizards of Solst, when they when they then they fled Solst, a lot of them opened up restaurants in the eastern shores of the Red Kingdom, and now the wow. food's amazing. That's incredible. For your next dining pleasure, alcohol was not that good. Shores. A culinary tour. That's what I'm thinking next. Yeah. Next campaign. <laughs> Foods of Andaria. Yes, Andrew. I'm sorry you're being bad. <laughs> yeah. They're not, they're not okay with it. Yeah. But now you have a you have a gnome patrol vampire. You have like the most interesting character. You, Ace, and uh, Oni. Yeah, Glenn. Glenn's going back to Sisolst. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do too. Do we okay, get, ready? Do, can we like borrow a ship? They hit it for the dark. N no, they're not. You have to get a shuttle out. <laughs> they're not giving you any ship, you filthy vampire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wait. Good evening. I'm Tony Hansen with Audio Dungeon News, and we're here to report from Rhaegar. We're live with our reporter, Gallon, who's on scene. Apparently, something has happened. There has been some uh, sort of trouble in the elections on Rhaegar for the new king. We're going to go to Gallon, who's live at Rhaegar right now for that interesting report. Gallon, can you hear me? Yeah! Oh, Tony, I am here live at the elections of Rhaegar! Oh, we're trying to decide who the new king's gonna be, and it looks like all the votes have come in! Oh, boy! It's a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be! It looks like the votes are in! It's seven to five, and King Dato holds on to his crown! Oh, wow! It looks like a lot of people really like Reggie! Oh, I didn't think that this many people were gonna vote for him, but it looks like it was closer than we all thought! Oh, man, there's gonna be a lot of people who still love... Oh, no, wait a minute! Tony! <laughs> There are some reports of chicanery in terms of the collection of the votes here in Rhaegar! Oh man, it looks like vampires have been going around town intimidating some of the, some of the uh, more important people of Rhaegar! It looks like they've been telling people to vote for Reggie when they really didn't vote for Reggie! And oh, Tony, it looks like <laughs> one of the Reggie supporters have killed a priest! The priest who found out what happened with the votes! He was killed! Oh man! As I'm even watching here, he's trying to. Reggie is there trying to kill another priest right now! What is going on? Oh, it looks like Reggie has been caught red handed and he's been dragged off into spending the rest of his days in a Rhaegar prison! And King Dato has just ruled that the gnomish vampires are banned from Rhaegar forever! Oh, at least Reggie.
Rhaegar is safe once again from Reggie and from the Gnomish vampires. Thank God! Tony, back to you! <laughs> Wouldn't that thank, be you so, thank you so much, Reggie. Uh, right now, oh, it looks like oh, wait, I'm getting in right now that apparently that Reggie wants to make some sort of, <laughs> some sort of speech. <laughs> We're going to go to the quote, quote unquote evil villain right now and see what he has to say. People of Rhaegar and all gnomes throughout the world, I'll admit that I am flawed. And if I loved my people too much, I am indeed guilty. And I will accept your judgment, but know that you will all be in my hearts. Good day. And that'll do it here for Super Zero's Super Gnome Patrol. Guys, that was a series finale of Gnome Patrol. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we are very excited with the question. Are you going to answer? Yeah, don't worry. And, <laughs> and uh, guys, um, we had so much fun watch, uh, playing this, uh, this series. Like, literally, for now, we had such an epic quest before, and No Patrol was, like, the perfect, like, palette to, like, come out into. So I'm very excited. So I'm going to put a question out there right now. What I'm going to ask is, Rob Spataro, would you be interested in coming back and playing Caddick? to lead the Knights of Andar in the next series. Ooh, wow. Caddick. What do you think? Yes. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Awesome. Caddick will return yes. on Knights of Andar. You heard it here, guys. That is it for No Patrol. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.